Welcome, welcome everybody to another day of annoying Dark Souls fans by not dodging and only blocking. Why am I up so early today? Because I woke up and I have insomnia and I figured, look, rather than just stare at the ceiling, um, rather than stare at the ceiling for, you know, like two, three hours, four hours, hoping to fall back asleep, I said, screw it. Let's just wake up, go about my day, and, uh, so here we are. Find Dark Souls. Again! What were we doing, anyway? Okay, so we had just... Wait. Hold on here. You... Wait. You? Wait, there's a dude here who said something that... He said the giant was in the profaned capital. He said it. He said it. I'm, I'm doing a no spoilers run, by the way. So he definitely said the giant was in the profaned capital. So I'm like right next to a boss fight. Can I block a giant? Ooh. Now that is interesting. That is interesting. Honestly, if I can block a giant to death, I think that proves I'm finally... At the very least, Gilgamesh level. Probably some sort of a low Superman, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's see here. I think we go down. I went up last time, it didn't seem to go anywhere. Going down though, I think that might work. Did I power my character up at all? Did I? Um, huh. Well, this is not, hmm. 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 Oh boy. Um. Uh, maybe going down isn't my path in life. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hello, Alex. Hello, NS. Gun Chat was asking, how do I intend to deal with, uh, Enemy bosses that build up debuffs on me. Well, there's multiple ways I could deal with it. Option A is to just block it and deal with the consequences. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, the consequences generally are damage. Like, okay, so I take damage, right? Well, I'm gonna take damage no matter what, realistically speaking. So, like, I can take damage. Okay, now that. Okay, I see it. Realistically speaking, like if I get poisoned, bleeded, like I take damage, right? Eventually I can just give myself a big enough health bar that I shouldn't be able to be one shot. Um, I should probably start putting points into damage at this point. I should just focus on getting my vigor up. I've been kind of greeting out with the vigor, as you can see. I think a lot of other people raise it a bit higher than I have. Um, yeah, I mean, I put some points in strength and dex. I mean, obviously, we, we went with a uh, sword and shield build right here. So, like, from what I can tell, swords and shields do pretty good damage, right? Um, I don't think uh, I need to invest that much. Uh, it also... <laughs> it looks like the investment system in this game is just as bad as it was in uh, Dark Souls 2 and 1. I don't think any of the Dark Souls games really reward you for actually putting points in damage. That's particularly a problem, I think, in Elden Ring that people talk about. That in Elden Ring, basically, you get just enough strength and dex or faith or whatever to wield a weapon. And then from there, what you do is you just point all your remaining points into stamina and HP. And, uh... Equipment load, there's one too. What is shooting me? The flame is shooting me. Oh boy. Okay, so we need to not get knocked off here. Whoa. What? I think 
think well, the thing is I'm supposed to be going with a what did they call it? I think I'm doing like a quality build people called it Like I'm supposed to actually be getting strength and dex to scale my weapon But every time I look at the stats, it's like I can get 1% more damage per point investment Which just feels Yeah I, I think it's Later in the game because we're five or five, so it's BB. I think later in the game it becomes like with this build, it becomes like AS or something. I don't know, but it's kind of a problem with the Dark Souls games. It, it continues into Elden Ring, definitely. Honestly, I don't think the company has ever really worked out their scaling formula in a healthy way. Let's put it like that. I, I really think weapons shouldn't get higher grades from from upgrading the weapon Because realistically whenever you pick up a weapon it should already have the highest grade it should get and I think that would solve Like 90% of the issue obviously like you should be able to maybe imbue it or something to give it a higher grade You know by some point like that, but I definitely think it's an issue where like in all these games Dang it I know I can stun this dude, but it just doesn't seem to want to go. Um, there's definitely a problem in these games. And I, I definitely noticed it when I was playing Elden Ring. I didn't... <sighs> Elden Ring's light game is kind of poopy. But, uh, is that already the last giant just right there? Well, I mean, if it is, I'm going to lose my souls anyway, so I might as well not farm. Now, hold on here. Maybe these people don't respawn, and I can get this flame thing turned off permanently. Alternatively, I might be able to find a... Actually, yeah, let's scout around a little bit, because I might be able to find a closer bonfire. One thing I noticed about this game, compared to Dark Souls 2 and compared to Dark Souls 1, I think in this game... If any boss run feels difficult at all, from what I've noticed, if any boss run at all feels even the tiniest bit difficult, then you're probably not doing it right. I don't know a better way to put it. It, it just feels like boss runs in this game are basically meant to be super easy. It has not failed me that every single time I look at a boss run, if it's even the tiniest bit challenging, I'm doing something wrong. Dude, the walking animation for these units, it's like... I feel like they're trying to go with creepy. And it is kind of creepy, but it's also kind of lazy. Like they didn't, you know... Can I... Seriously, I can kick him out of his wing? Oh, that just feels odd. Yeah, we're on to another last giant. How much are we on to? This is the 12th last giant. Honestly, it's crazy. Where do they keep finding these last giants? I'm immune to damage while I'm in the backstab. But then, I think they get frame advantage on me afterwards. So it's kind of uh, a give and take. Boy, we uh, get. Wait, what? Duo ahead, therefore try eliminating one. Oh my god, it's a duo mimic! Okay. I see it. Dude, I feel like this is it. I feel like they added so many mimics to the zone to try to like finally convince you that there weren't gonna be any more mimics. To the point where, like, we're reaching absurdity. They're now putting two mimics. They're really trying to convince. Dude, it's like it's like they're in a game of rock paper scissors, and all they do is call like rock, 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 rock. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I really think. Here's my opinion. I really think the great shields in this game are fucking terrible. <laughs> um. They have too high of a strength requirement across the board. Like, unless you are doing a pure only strength character, you can't really use them. 
And then the problem quickly becomes that, like, if you're doing a pure strength character, most people just dual wield and say, screw it. They don't even use the shield, because, you know, in, in this game, I feel like, uh, could you not, buddy? I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm dead. Okay, fuck you. No, I've been upgrading my my Black Knight shield. My Black Knight shield's up to 65 stability. How much stability do you really need? It's 65. Okay, that one's 80. Okay, I could probably upgrade that to 100. Okay, I'll be honest, it's, that's probably pretty good. I'll be honest, that's, that's probably pretty good. But still, 40 strength. I'm, I'm trying to do... So, okay, here's what I could do. And I'm just, I'm just hypotheticalizing, okay? What I could do... Okay, I knew it. They, they don't respawn so the flame doesn't shoot. Um, what I could do is respec into mostly a strength from a strength dex build. Nope, I was horribly wrong. I could respec into a mostly strength for a strength dex build. I know what you're thinking, but why? Because I want to. I'll be honest, I think at this point the best way to use a shield build isn't to use heavy armor at all. Um, I think heavy armor, I'll, I'll be honest, I think heavy armor is pretty pointless for a knight build. I should definitely be going with medium armor. I have come to that realization, so don't... Don't be like, oh my god, did you know medium armor isn't even that good for this, or heavy armor is not even good for this build. Heavy armor is mostly for hit trading with a poise build. Okay, yes, but also I just want to use it. So screw you. I could probably, like if I was min-maxing, okay, if I was really min-maxing, I take like 10 points out of vitality, I go down to medium armor, I put those points into strength, from there, I probably drop 10 in dex as well. I grab a strength dex refined weapon. Probably a good stamina one. So, like, probably like a straight sword, something like that. Um, I get my strength up to 40. I go great shield of glory. I have just enough medium armor that I don't die if, like, I screw up a block. You know what I mean? I have just enough armor with medium armor that if I screw up a block, I don't get one shot. But, I'm, I'll be honest, I just, I don't think that heavy armor... Like, if I'm min-maxing and I'm intending to block every attack, then what does heavy armor do? Well, it does a few things, actually. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna read through it here. So what does it do? Mostly, from what I can see, it allows you to get away with like guard absorption physical like 90. And then what you can do is if your guard is like a mere 90 on the weapon, like an 84 or 90, you can then use your armor to uh, eat it. Right? Um, so that's definitely one thing you can do. I, I think it's a strategy. Um, the second thing is, if you block, let's say, fire damage, you might be noticing with a mere 85 guard absorption, I... Not on, like, the Giga. So the, the Demon King was a bit of an issue, I'll be honest. But because my armor was able to absorb a lot of fire damage, I was able to block his attacks, which I'm fairly certain were not intended to be blockable, like, at all. I, I'm fairly certain I basically broke the game's system, and I do not think the developers intended you to block his attacks even slightly. But, by using good armor, and the Black Knight shield... Um... I can't tell what they're doing, so like, I, I have to keep my... One thing I definitely think a lot of people get wrong about blocking, by the way. I, I'm kind of amused by this, but a lot of people think blocking just means like, you just sit with your shield up the entire time, and that's it. You have to lower your shield constantly. Any split microsecond where your shield is raised and you don't need it to be raised is a complete waste. Because your stamina, look at your stamina recovery by shield. You need that stamina. Every point of stamina is so important for you. Because you're wasting your stamina. Like, blocking is so much less stamina efficient than dodge rolling. Dodge rolling in this game is OP as shit. 
I memed about dodge rolls in the first game and the second game, but like, nah, dude, in this game, it's like, it's like actually overpowered. Like, it's not even a meme. It's just like compared to your other forms of combat, it's overpowered. But it's like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Okay, I, I want to heal because I'm not at full HP as grab kills me. Well, the only problem is, in previous games... Oh, come on with this fucking tracking shit, dude. Um... Compared to previous games, uh... You could basically slot in whatever shield you needed for the time. But in this game, you really can't. Because, here's the thing. Um, the more you upgrade your shield, the more poise... Not poise, stability you get. So my Black Knight shield went from 60 to 65 stability. That might not seem like it, but that's actually like... You might have noticed, that's like a noticeable amount of stability... That's Sorry, of, of, of stamina that I can keep now. That's like a noticeable amount. You know what? Rather than waste my time on the first attempt being terrible, followed by me having to do repeated annoying boss runs where I have to pick up my souls early, I have a better idea. Let's just go level up now. Presumably we're gonna level up HP. Maybe stamina. Let's level up HP and stamina. Because this is, you know, obviously gonna be some sort of bossy boy. A giant, presumably. Oh, come on. Okay. Major complaint that's not even a mechanical complaint, but like an actual complaint. The amount of times I'm holding block and enemies attack through my block is too high. It's, it's pretty unacceptable that they reduce the block angle. They reduce your block angle really hard. Um, saying dodge is OP and as souls is saying last hitting minions is OP in league. My dude, dodge rolling, I, I checked out the frame data from the first game, dodge rolling has gone down by about half the recovery frames, gone down in stamina consumption by about like 60%. Yes, it, it's, it's very overpowered in Dark Souls 3. Like it's not even a meme. It's, it's just straight overpowered. It's particularly noticeable in PvP because like anytime anyone takes a hit, you just see them, they just turn into a goddamn gymnast. They're just hua, 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 and it's, it's like you can't catch them. Like you can't do anything. They just just dodge roll, dodge roll. I mean, look at me. I'm in medium dodge roll. I've not even stacked stamina. Let's look. Like what is this, dude? What is this? What is this? Oh no, but then oh wait. Oh, but then oh no, wait. Okay, no, oh, but no, wait. Oh, but wait. Oh no, wait. Like what the hell? Yes, the game is built around that mechanic because they made it too powerful. I've gone into this before. I don't know if you guys want me to talk about it again, but they made dodge roll overpowered. And then because they made dodge roll overpowered, they had to make every boss and every encounter balanced around dodge roll because now it was overpowered. That's not... That's not like a ridiculous thing to say, I don't think. Welcome like, basically, dodge roll is so OP that everything now must be balanced around dodge roll. Like, it's just, it's a, the, the two concepts I do not like in the, in the current, let's say, iteration of the game. Ah, I knew that would be too much. Dodge roll is way too OP, and the amount of Estus you can get is way too OP as well. I think those two are definitely OP. I, I definitely noticed the issue with Estus when I played Elden Ring, but it's also very noticeable in Dark Souls. That's a dodge roll game. No, it's not. As a series, hold on, hold on, guys. I'm not even joking. As a series, there are still more games where dodge roll is not needed and not overpowered than there are games where it's overpowered. In Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, and Dark Souls 2, Dodge roll is not this giga-broken mega ability. 
It's only in Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring that dodge roll became this weird giga OP overpowered ability. I have to dodge roll if I get knocked down. Like, this game started a very weird process where you must dodge roll in some situations. Uh, there are some enemies who will literally full health combo you if you don't dodge roll. There are some enemies that will infinite combo you if you don't dodge roll. The, when you get knocked down, your recovery is like twice as long if you don't dodge roll. It's super jank. Okay, here we go. Now, what happened to Mr. Siegfried? Because I was doing his quest and now Buddy's not here. Is that, uh... That's not fun. This is a gimmick fight, isn't it? Hold on. I, I already know what's happening. Okay. Yep. God, it was it was really obvious to me very quickly. Where is it? It was a sword, right? Dude is like, I am 700 times your size. And I'm like, nope. 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 Honestly, could I beat this dude even without this at this point? I'm not going to because I'm not going to make you guys watch, but I think I could. Okay, uh... So does this... Okay... I'm trying to... Is it like a weapon art? Okay, maybe I'm not understanding this. That was not a dodge roll. I, I was literally trying to close my menu. That occurs to me. I'm not recording right now. Okay, now we're recording. That attack is unblockable, so I can't be directly in front of him, or he will punish me. I can block that, it just doesn't get blocked very often.
on, man. Come on. Damn it. Attack. I just need to make sure he doesn't sneak that one in on me and we're good here. Man, some of these attacks, it just, it doesn't, like, I'm holding block and it just doesn't block. sucks because I don't think I'm gonna be able to push through this much HP Okay, so how do I do this storm ruler thing? As much fun as it is to totally waste everyone's time. Oh yeah, Blue Estus. Save Siegfried. Chat, I looked everywhere for Siegfried. Spoilers aside, I can't find it, dude. No, dude, I checked that dungeon. I checked that dungeon. I checked that dungeon. I checked. I checked for like five hours that dungeon. Like, with no spoilers, I checked everything, dude. I sat there. I looked everywhere, man. Hold the weapon art. Okay, so let's two-hand you. Oh, you hold it like that. I see. Okay. Ah, what? Pretty be careful. Okay, I, I was just double checking that I could. I was just a chat. I, I don't know if you guys think I'm like just like a FromSoft hater, but it's more like oh god, a lot of people don't realize this. I hate on FromSoft games a lot, but I'm fairly certain I've played more FromSoft games than anyone in chat at this point, except people who are probably older than me. So let's just say I was there. I was there, chat, when everyone started considering FromSoft to be a shovelware developer that wasn't worth any of your time. I bought Armored Core 4, I bought Armored Core 4 Answer, I bought, um, Chrome Hounds. And it eventually just became pretty clear that FromSoft had become a shovelware developer that although they had some interesting ideas, they were not really worth your time anymore, nor were they worth your money. Now, it's clearly a bit different now, but I'm saying this because when people are talking about play Armored Core, Armored Core kind of has a poor taste in my mouth. Wait, is this it?
that's... I literally have to dodge roll on wake up or I just die. Oh, you've played every FromSoft game chat? Name which game made you quit playing their games before 2010. Please save his soul. Dude, this is like the Rickard fight, except like lame. I feel like at least the Rickard fight had like something of a normal fight. Is Storm Ruler actually a good weapon? It doesn't weigh a lot. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Who? Please save his soul. Who are you? Tell him what he must be a lord. Chat, I hope... I hope this doesn't end up like Dark Souls 1, where I wake up kind of excited to play the game because my build is coming together, and then the second half of the game just kind of fucking sucks, and I just go, okay, cool, and I just sort of like feel like I wasted all my time even making my build, you know what I mean? Although, I mean, it wasn't, again, I, I, like, I reiterate. I reiterate. The second half of... Um, the second half of... Dark Souls wasn't even that bad. Because it wasn't even a second half. Okay, let me think here. Okay. The second half of Dark Souls was only like four hours. People kind of exaggerate. It's not like the second half of Dark Souls is bad. Like 80% of the game is fine. It's like the last 20% isn't that great. And it's not like... Bed of Chaos sucks, I agree. But so far as the other bosses and areas, it's not really that bad. Like it might not be that interesting. It might be easy. Your character might be like overtuned, but it's really not that bad. I think one thing you can do to not be overpowered is not do the painting world. The painting world seems to just be giga overstat in how many souls it gives you. I'm trying to figure out why it teleported me here. Was there a point? Hmm. So like, okay, so they keep saying Lothric. The Chad continuously hit his shield, hoping he finally does an animation while you're hitting. But the problem is Yorm, if you fight Yorm with a different weapon, he's not exactly designed well. Sorry to say. Like, even if you fight him with no weapon, he's not exactly that amazing. Okay, hold on here. So, Grandma dies. Do we... Oh. That's awkward. Oh, don't boss fight me. I got 37,000 souls. Dude, dick move. That's just brutal. And I didn't even get to level?
Nice ass, Lothark. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Oh. Hmm. Okay, you think I can't beat that chat. But I can. You're like, oh my god, I was just gonna grab you if you don't dodge roll. No, I know a way to beat it. You might think I'm lying, but I'm not. You know what you do? You stay on the opposite side of their grab hand. No, it's got a second phase, doesn't it? Also, it's hand. It can't grab anymore. No, I don't trust it, Chad. It's too easy. Okay, it does lots of uh, damage that seems to constantly go through my block here. Uh, all my Estus are gone for phase two. Oh well, not too bad. See any souls, chat? Oh, wait, was that really it? Huh. Hmm. Still don't trust it. Chat, it's going back for phase two. This boss took you ten try. Chat, how many times? How many times am I gonna hear you're not gonna be able to beat this with block? Meanwhile, I have my block-based build, and what am I doing, chat? I'm just like, okay, I need to conserve stamina, block the hits, block the hits, conserve stamina, block the hits, go in when we can, absorb damage when we can, heal through, block the hits. You guys are like, this is it. This is the attack you won't be able to block anymore. And I block it, and you guys are like, oh! What affects poise? Nothing. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. Dad, I always figure something out. I always figure something out. Honestly, the the true genius of Dark Souls game is that. The true genius of Dark Souls games are that they're very easy to cheese and play as an RPG. Honestly, if I played through the game again, I'd already know how to do a block build better. I wouldn't go for heavy armor. At the very least, I wouldn't go for heavy armor at first. And I would focus primarily on, um... I would focus primarily on getting my, my health up and my stamina up. As well as getting enough to upgrade a uh, weapon. 
Pretty be careful. Going for the heavy armor kind of screwed my early game because I didn't have enough health to make heavy armor good. Only weapon and armor affect poise. I don't know, Jet. I've. Why am I going here? I feel like my weapon knight might not have the most poise. Question, for anyone who plays Elden Ring, hypothetically, do they still have that super jank stupid shit where, um... They still have that super jank shit where jumping heavy attacks can't actually really be interrupted, thereby allowing you to hit trade every single boss to death? Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing you can hit trade a boss, I'm just saying can you still, you know, kind of go a little bit ham with it. I'm not saying hit trading is bad, okay? Like, if you want to hit trade, hit trading should be a viable tactic, right? I guess. But... It was a bit... It, it kind of became the preferred cheese tactic, as everyone wanted to just easy mode the game. I'm... I'm gonna be honest, I, I just don't think this game should have ultra weapons. This place where I can refund my souls and attributes? Eh, what are you gonna do? I don't make mistakes, I don't need to refund. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I don't really see any issue. The only real issue is that I'm using an agility sword, but here's the thing, chat, once I can get some twinks, I'll just go with my uh, Black Knight sword. I'm just not using my Black Knight sword because I'm upgrading. I'm using all my twinks to upgrade my Black Knight shield to give it more poise. So, more poise is Giga Stamina, which is just generally better, in my opinion. Um, what I could do... Yeah, I mean, eventually I'll just swap over to using the Black Knight Sword, because its base stats are fucking ridiculous. Although, I will be honest, the scaling on this refined sword is kind of insane. The shield should end up around 68 stability, which is pretty good for... Because in previous games, wasn't the highest stability like 70? What about Frostmourne? Frostmourne is fine, but it kind of falls off late game. It seems to mostly be about the proc. I, I was looking at the stats online because I was kind of just curious. I, I've been trying to avoid looking at stats, but in this particular case, I was just looking at them. I think the proc does flat damage, and I don't, I don't know if the percent actually affects enemies at either rate oh boy you are a tanky boy am i ready for this oh boy what is wrong with you friend i'm presuming you're being buffed here and i need to run past that's cheating. You should be more reasonable now, right? Did you get healed? So is that... That's his fight. He gets healed. By this bitch. Okay. Contraption does not move. Yeah, chat, how come he gets a heal slot and I don't? Dude, can they just properly implement Dark Souls, like, co-op? Like, I know everyone says it, but like, could they actually just do it for once? Like, this game would actually be really fun as a co-op game, and I don't know why they're so against just implementing it.
Like, it has all the makings of a co-op game. Range damage, melee tank, melee damage. Dark Souls 2 even had taunting. Kind of. Co-op is for losers? Well, then you don't have to. But shouldn't I be able to, like... Should I be able to get... Like, like, let me use another example here, right? Shouldn't I be able to play Dark Souls with my friend who isn't that good? And shouldn't we be able to just co-op through the game? And, and shouldn't I be just be able to play? And, and... Maybe, you know, he plays an archer or a healer or something like that, right? And we just have fun and... Surely not. I was about to say, they're, they're mimicked out, chat. They did like eight mimics in a row. They're mimicked out. My damage is a little low. No, I actually seem about right. From what I know of Dark Souls, if you two-shot the enemies, you're in the right area. If you three-shot the enemies, you're in an area that's too high level. Some exceptions apply. People now be like, no, you can beat any area at any level. Get good, scrub. Get good. Shut up. Honestly, dude, I feel like I feel like Dark Souls fans are insufferable because I feel like they've fundamentally forgotten that the game is an RPG and that the vast majority of people will play it as an RPG. Hello, fatty. You broke your shield. Oh. Wait, he just gets him back. Gee, how come your mom lets you get your exes back? Yeah, I know you can co-op and have to do the areas twice. I'm saying, why not just... Why not just implement direct co-op? Baldur's Gate style. No, you say. That would ruin the spirit of the game. Shut up. Hell, Jet, here's my opinion. You, you know what? Someone is going to destroy FromSoft. Someone is going to obliterate this company. I swear to God. Someone is going to make a Dark Souls without all the annoying parts of Dark Souls. And they're going to make a Dark Souls without, like, all the tedle tedious, needless dodge roll spamming. And they're gonna have proper co-op, and they're gonna have multiple characters. By the way, did Elden Ring do multiple characters finally? I think they did. It would suck then. What's the point then? The 99% of the game that isn't getting random Dark Souls lulled? Like, like, you guys realize, as a grand scheme, like, he here's what a lot of people don't realize when I say things like that. It's like a percent of your time that you spend doing shit. How much of your time do you spend dying to, like, really stupid traps and ganks that you easily avoid the next time? And I'm not saying traps and ganks that, like, you can understand and see and avoid. I'm talking about, like, enemies that are, like, if an enemy was hanging off this cliff and there's no conceivable way I could find it, and I walk past and, oh, no, I aggro two enemies in front of me, and then the two behind me cut me off, and I go, oh, jeez, I got some... You know what I mean? Dude, is there a bonfire every seven steps? What is this? I haven't even used an Estus yet. I'm not even joking. What the hell? Dark Souls without this is Assassin's Creed and God of War. 
That's the dumbest shit I've heard today. Granted, we're still early in the day, but... Wait, so Dark Souls without dodge roll spamming would be God of War. Let's say they doubled the cost of, of dodge roll. It's now God of War? Have you played God of War, or are you just using that as a, like a catchphrase? chat uh here's like an actual question i'm having right now um did they really need to member bury the bridge dragon twice and then the second time they member bury it with two dragons like oh i remember wait you look cool no no pick up the great sword pick that up pick that up that looks cool as shit. Oh no, that's just my sword, but bigger. Shit. Chad, it's not about the size, it's about how I use it. I use my sword well, Chad. So let me thrust it into him. The first time the dancer? Yeah, it was actually really easy. I was, I was trying to even conserve shit to get to the second phase that I assumed was gonna happen. And then there was no second phase. I was like, all right. You wanna know what I think is a big issue with Dark Souls, Chet? I'm gonna say it. I think as you play the game, you get better at the game, but you also start leveling your character out better. Knowing what to level and what's vital. And... It kind of means that the further in the game you get, even as the enemies start... Like, you can literally look at this dude, right? They have like 10 times the health bar they did early game. That's not even an exaggeration, I don't think. No, Chad, you aren't allowed to spoil shit. Stop asking to spoil everything. We're first- we're, I'm experiencing the game! You guys got to experience the game. You guys got to play it on release and- and not have 9 billion spoilers already out there. Okay, let me- let me experience. Dark Souls 1 did the same with Demon Souls. Chad, do you think Demon Souls is the best game ever made? And we all need to play Demon Souls. I think they're about to breathe. Oh, you're trying to bait me, you dumb bitch. Okay, um... Do I need to go back down? Is that what it's suggesting? Jed be like... The next boss is the one you're getting stuck on. Trust me, trust me. This next one, unbeatable. Meanwhile... My stability on my weapon is going up. My stamina is going up. My health bar is going up. I'll be honest, I haven't, um... No, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really interested in Bloodborne. It doesn't have block. Before you're asking, are you being serious? Yes. Dude, the fucking archers are... kind of really damaging. It's not even that, dude. Yeah, that dude's doing good damage, but like... Yeah, look at the archers, dude. Oh my god. Okay, let's just pull you out so I don't need to deal with this shit. 
Okay, I think maybe I'm supposed to have more damage right about now. Wow, could someone tell me which item description do I need to read to get the lore of why he could shoot me through a wall? Okay, um... I'm looking for an alternative path. Maybe... games of occasional bugs well then you're gonna have to accept me occasionally making fun of this game's bugs my dude dang leave the billion dollar company alone dude I'm gonna be honest the amount of shit that Dark Souls gets away with that they probably shouldn't that no one ever calls him out on is kind of nuts. I keep going back here. I, I'm hmm. Surely it's not. But I put a bonfire here. But maybe I'm not supposed to go here. Maybe I'm supposed to go up there. There's an enemy there. Like in no particular order, the extremely stupid companion quests that in no possible way could anyone reasonably do consistently without Googling. The fact that they often bug out and don't work anyway. Uh, the item balance is often, let's be honest, pretty sketch. Um, the extreme reused animations. Now, look, if you want to reuse animations, that's fine. But, like, I think at some point you could have more than the one backstab animation for every single sword. Especially because it doesn't even work on the larger enemies anymore. The amount of bugs Skyrim gets away with and people don't call them out. My dude, Google Skyrim, just Google it and I promise you, you will find 900 trillion approximate videos of people calling out Skyrim. In fact, I have personally watched several, that, that's right, multiple, at least 10 hour length reviews of Skyrim shitting on it. In fact, at this point, at this point, Chad, I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly confident, in fact, that Skyrim actually gets more shit than it should. For being a game that people enjoy and, and play and have fun with, holy shit, you'd actually be convinced that it's the worst game ever and no one ever enjoyed playing it. Like that. Stabbing people in the ass is just... They, they, against these larger enemies, the animation should be a thrust down. So it like hits their back or something, you know? Dark Souls is far better than the majority of the games bugs wise. Debatable, but I could maybe agree with that. I think a lot of games get known for having bad bugs and then kind of like drag down people's thoughts, so to speak. Was there really a hidden path to progress this zone? No way. Skyrim without mods is very bad. Counterpoint. I disagree. Um... I don't think it was. I lose poise by doing that. I'm just checking if there's... Okay, so if I change my chest armor, we lose physical resistance. We go up in weight by a full pound. We lose magic resist. We gain a slight amount of poise. Like, what is a big... It's like a side grade that takes... It's like a slight upgrade that weighs more. That's no good. Are any of these better? The poise is better on them, except for the head, which is amusing. 
I'm still using the Lothric Night Pants. Maybe the... That puts me above 70%, but I could dunk one more point. I go up two points of poise, which is nice. I get lots of poison resist, frost resist, curse resist. I get some extra reduction. I, basically, I, I get everything better, I get, except... I feel like Lothric set is, like, really efficient, actually, for its weight. Which is amusing to me. Eh, screw it. I'm in need of a change here, chat. I'm gonna fat roll for a bit, but it'll be fine. I just need to find a bonfire and go back. I gain swag? Do I, though? I mean, losing physical resist is pretty brutal. Plus, strike goes down? Isn't most enemy damage strike? Or am I crazy? Uh, is that it? The seeker was just to get that set? I could believe it. But I thought that was how to bypass the dragon. Dang. Boys are pointless with your weapon. Untrue. Although I will agree, I don't think, I, I honestly think if you're doing a shield build, I honestly think if you're doing a shield build, you just go very light on the stamina stat, sorry, the vitality stat. And I think you just go very light on vitality and you put the majority of your points just into other stuff. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure heavy armor is ever worth it in this game. The amount of points you have to dunk into vitality is pretty brutal. Chat, I assumed I, it was like, I, I, I literally hit the giant once. Very well then take. Min maxing to oblivion. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I did. Do you really think my build is min maxed? Chat, would anyone call my build min maxed? My shield build with 29 vitality just so I can wear heavy armor? Anyone calling that a min maxed build? My high poise and light weapon build? Is that a min maxed build, chat? I'm not sure. It, it, it kind of seems like it's pretty shit, actually. I really think that, um, okay, chat, I'm like trying to find a way past these dragons. Am I supposed to just sprint it? Is there, is there a way down I'm missing? Am I being stupid? Am I? Ah, okay. Your build is kind of good, actually. You beat Dancer first try. Most people don't. Yeah, but the thing is, if I just if I just dunked more points into health, and I just had more stamina to just infinite block, because that's the thing, I, I run out of stamina way too easy. If I had like ten extra points in stamina, I could block everything except the camera. if I just held a block that it would do something I am at yeah we're at 69.6 percent chat so is like 
the cathedral armor just like weirdly the best set for heavy armor unless I find or know where to go to get some jank build denied That is very weak to fire. Chad, I got a sword. I'm not some mage. I'm not some magician. I'm not some like crazy dude who has magic and shit, chat. I'm a knight. Okay. I do strength and strength accessories. Fire bombs. Sounds like heresy, Chad. Ranged weaponry on a knight? Good heavens. Dregs, be wary of ambush. Are you guys dying to that? I mean, at this point, guys, zombies, really? Men of your talents? Consumables are allowed? Absolutely not. Not giving my opponent. A fair chance to fight back is illegal in these parts. Wing Knight Halberd. I remember halberds were actually pretty good for a dual build. Are they still good in this game? Because I got this one way long ago. Hmm. I feel like the item balance in this game is super screwy. And not in a good way. Like, in a legitimately bad way, actually. Most of the weapons that were decent in Dark Souls 1 seem to kind of get, uh, obliterated in this game. With the one exception of the Black Knight weapons, which seem to have been left deliberately giga broken as a meme. But wait, how does that work in PvP then? Wouldn't everyone just use Black Knight weaponry? Or is it only the Black Knight sword? But everyone says that everyone uses a curved sword because it animates weirdly and basically grabs people out of dodge roll. But it was like the Black Knight sword had like 80% more damage at rank 1 than other weapons. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, every halberd I've seen is just kind of like, eh. Plus, the problem is I weigh so much, dude. The the problem is, I like, there's too much weight for what I'm trying to do. I have to use a shield. Okay, then I use heavy armor. Okay, we're getting up there now. Then we've got, um, we're using a shield and we're using heavy armor. And then we want to use a bigger weapon? Like, no way. Is that the way up? Probably. No, that was not the way up. Okay. Yeah, but if I use the Dark Knight sword, this game runs into the same problem I noticed from Elden Ring. Like, you can't upgrade enough weapons to actually have variety. You basically have one or maybe two weapons in your run, and that's it. 
I guess maybe it's to encourage build variety, but... I killed you. If I throw a firebomb at it, I am not giving this chaos demon the ability to fight back. How very unchivalrous of me. As the great knight, what's my name, Frank? Frank, I would never stoop to such a level. Are they killing each other now? Real Knight used crossbow on peasant and bandit. One hundred percent. Verifiably incorrect. If you use a ranged weapon as a knight obeying the code of chivalry, you have broken chivalry. Okay, fuck this. I know that's Zargor, but that wasn't really, it was technically true on launch without being really actually true because the cost, the cost for how long it took to do that shit was so excessive that like, it wasn't really true. I remember to get a single weapon upgraded to early game took like two hours of grinding. It was pretty bad. Okay, so let's think. This tower did nothing. It just put us back to here. Okay. Then... This area... Does well nothing. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So that leaves us with this area, which I believe does nothing. Oh my god, chat. Do I really need to kill it with firebombs? Is, is this actually what they just intend me to do at this point? That didn't even do shit! Are you kidding me?
Okay. Let's see here. So we need to find a way up. Up bitty up bitty up. And I'm not sure I found it. No, no, no. I'm not sure I found it. But wait, seriously, do I do I need to actually just get across the bridge, maybe? Do I need to actually just get across the bridge? Huh. Um... Because I, I literally don't see any other way. I'm gonna go across the bridge, I'm gonna just die. It'll be funny for you guys, I guess. But it's like one of those situations where it's like... I know I'm gonna die, and y'all are gonna be like, Wow, Chad, I ran into the dragons and I died to the dragons. Isn't that hilarious? Chad's sitting here like, eh. Wait, maybe I need to jump to the other side. Chad, I'm 10 geniuses strapped together to make a super mega ultra genius. That's why they call me Genius Sen. The smartest man ever made. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay. Undead bone shard. Oh, that means this is an optional area. No way. Undead bone shard means it's optional. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Dang it. Okay. Uh, okay, let me think then. What does it want me to do? What is it trying to get me to do? Let, let's get a good look here, Chad. Can I maybe get... Like, I, I tried walking back. Wait. My God. You fools. You fooled me with your foolishness, chat. It was just right there. You tried to dupe me, but instead you got duped. Could 
I start being debuffed now? Chad, y'all are jealous of my shield. That's why I put my points into upgrading it. Did you guys think of upgrading your shields? No, idiots. Everyone was like, I don't want to upgrade my shield. I don't think it's very good use of the points. And I'm like, shield upgrade. And you guys are like, no, you're wasting your points. You have to upgrade your main weapons. You're stupid. And I was like, shield upgrade. <gasps> hmm. Something tells me I'm not really supposed to go in there. Can you guard counter? Not that I know of. That is exactly how you guys sound, chat. Down to a T. This shit again. Yeah, I'm not gonna farm him. Okay. Is there like a thing with this game and just it just burning the fuck out of me randomly for zero? Watch your clips. Uh, hey, it's up there somewhere. They didn't drop the sword. They never drop their weapons automatically. Chat, you gotta work for it. And by work for it, I mean you know just randomly kill them like 900 times. Okay, I'm assuming they stopped breathing their fire, and then I sprint it in here, and we cross it. This is why they call me John Dark Souls. As the best Dark Souls player to ever souls darkly, I am the darkiest soul, chat. I'm just edgy. Like, I'm so Dark Souls, chat, that I just listen to nothing but edge music. Deftones? Dude, come on. Deftones? Really? Nah, we're talking straight up Combi Christ Covenant. What else we got here? Uh, Devil Driver. Nickelback. Godsmack? The Christian rock band? I don't know how edgy they are. Lamb of God's not even that edgy. Not really. Scragger, we're doing Dark Souls. Wee! Look, I'm playing Hardcore Zelda. Where the hell did you come from?
How come in all the other Dark Souls games, you like instantly lose your footing and get shit on when you fight people on a ladder? And in this game, they instantly lose their footing and get shit on. This isn't the Dark Souls experience that I know, chat. The Dark Souls I know... Am I supposed to like hit this and then it runs away? Did it just grow a growth out of its foot? Honestly, that's gotta feel terrible. That, that likely is not a pleasant feeling, chat. You're a edgy dark reaper with a scythe and dark cloth. Did you also make her a goth girl? Did you name her Isabella? Oh god, there's so many of y'all bitches. Okay, this dude's kind of going ham on my health bar and his lightning's getting right through. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta think of a new strategy here. It's not working. Okay, his healer is down. Now it's time to just 1v1 him. Why did he get a backup healer, dude? What the fuck? Okay. Cool. Dead, how come I can't do a giga lightning damage two handed great sword poise build that just giga chads through everything? Okay, I'm gonna have to play this like it's... What did you guys make fun of it for being Splinter Cell? I don't know the Splinter Cell theme. I don't even know. He doesn't have a healer. Okay, this time, buddy. Easy! Are you fucking serious? Can you... God, I'm being ganked in Dark Souls, man. Okay, could you... Could he stop getting fucking buffed by everyone? BAM! Easy, chat. Okay. Lothar Knight Greatsword. Okay, I got his greatsword. 
Chat, was the great sword his power or was he the power and he merely used the great sword? It does lightning damage, but it doesn't require faith. Wait, I could technically use this. My ultimate technique, Art of War, Dick Annihilator. <laughs> Jed, is it actually good? That sword? Because he kind of kicked the shit out of me. I'm kind of jealous of his prowess right now. Dude, I can't drop my shield. What do I do if I be attacked without my shield? Do the enemies actually use their weapons, chat? Like if a dude, if an NPC is like slotted with a good weapon, do they actually use it? You know what I mean? Not gonna lie, Dark Souls 3 seems way more interesting than Dark Souls 2. And I'm not just saying that so you guys would be like, Wow, he's so cool, he has my opinion too. Now I like him more. But chat, Lothar Greatsword, I probably need to upgrade with Twinkling Titanite, right? I, I, I don't have that much twinks. Ah, um... Where are we? Like, I, I think Dark Souls 2 maybe has more build variety, but... Like... I think Dark Souls 2 maybe has more build variety, but Dark Souls 3 still is perfectly fine build variety, right? And I can think of a lot of different things I could do in this game, could I not? And so like, if it's gonna have better... I mean, graphics first off. Like, no offense, but, you know, there, there does come a certain point where the Dark Souls 2... Like, Dark Souls 1 has a charm because it got remastered, and for the most part, it doesn't look like a sack of shit. But... Okay, I'm trying to think here. For that boss, is this the fire for that boss? Or is there a closer one? Okay, so how good is this weapon, chat? Oh, it looks a bit silly, I'm not gonna lie. Is it an ultra grade sword? It is. Chat, this kind of looks silly. I look a bit silly. Wait, these are literally just the Elden Ring animations. Wait, what? Just good, wasn't it? 
Dude, did they do anything? Okay, I feel like I uh, not not even low key chat. I feel like I feel like the greatest accomplishment of this game was like But chat, if I do this, here's the thing. I could start using my Titanite chunks to upgrade my refined Lotharic sword. Do I? Okay, you know what? I'm going to put it to a vote, chat. Start a poll. What sword do I use? Chad Realistic Knight. Virgin. Great Sword Abuser. Dude, I swear to God, like Elden Ring's entire success was based on the fact that no one had played Dark Souls before. And 90% of people had no idea what they were like experiencing. So they were like, oh my God, basilisks. I've never seen that before. You know what I mean? Like they saw the backstab and they were like, oh my God, the backstab is pretty cool. Use ultra weapon fight against giant is realistic. Chat, but here's the thing. I feel like being realistic okay, be careful. can just be more fun, no? Where like I just have a regular sword. I'm just a knight. I'm not like some ludicrous dude. Wait, the Lothar Knight Great Sword skills better with agility. Ah. Can I infuse it? No, it's already infused. Oh no, I can infuse it. Wait, but it does lightning damage and you can infuse it? What, can you double lightning it? Wait, I don't have a refined gem to give it refined chat. Um. Oh, uh, hold on. If I'm going to try this. Sharp is the best. Chat, that is not what I've been told at all. Also, that seems like complete bullshit. Yeah, the, the numbers are better, but what do the numbers mean, chat? Like, why are these numbers better? But I have more strength than I do dex, so shouldn't refined be better? I don't want to <laughs> Look at my character sheet here, chat. I'm 25 strength, 21 dex. That is what? So why... I don't understand why sharp would be doing better than refined. That doesn't make sense to me. It feels like something is wrong here, chat. I'm decreasing my strength and increasing my agility. 
But yeah, I'm not a str I'm a both build. I'm 25, 21. Like I'm not, I'm not strength or dex. I'm pretty much even on both. So doesn't that make refined better? So why would sharp manage to outdo it based on the stats? That doesn't make sense to me. Something feels wrong here. Like there's just something that's not working quite right. It already does lightning. Yeah, I need to get a refined gem, and I have an idea. My weight ratio is pretty fucked up with this, chat. We're pretty much committed at this stage to the meme. Welcome, very well, then to take. We're probably gonna need to get more stamina. Farewell, if I want to use this. have an idea chat this might be stupid but let's see if it works if you use a holy buff you can do the same shit that anyone was doing wait chat from playing Elden Ring didn't they have a weird okay didn't Elden Ring have a weird janky rule where you couldn't if a weapon did a damage type by default, you couldn't then buff it, which was super jank and weird. But like, oh God, it was so weirdly restrictive. I don't know why they did this. The only thing I could think of is they found some exploits. And so they like removed it because they were like, oh shit, people are breaking the game. Okay, see what I mean with like there are some enemies you literally have to dodge roll or they perma stun you to death. Uh Yeah, I'm not going heavy infusion. I'm a quality build, so I go quality. I don't care about your memes of what is better or what is worse or what does more damage chat. What I care about is that I'm a quality build, so I must quality. get my healing back thank you I quality build in every game yes you have noticed thank you chat I do one thing and one thing only wait does Elden Ring have quality build chat Yeah, I don't know, it's really funny if my guesstimations are correct. The item I skipped earlier because I didn't think I would need it. It's one of these. Are you guys dead? The fuck happened?
Did I just like not pay attention to builds in Elden Ring chat? There we go. The item I didn't get because I thought I wouldn't need it was the refined gem. Chat, what killed the dragons? Uh, maybe we do Elden Ring after this chat and then you all can go see I told you this game was better than I thought it was yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fat That is what Okay, chat. We infuse. I am a quality build, so I must quality. Chat, you do not understand. Even though this does more damage, I am a quality build, so I must quality. You do not understand. Chat, I'm gonna let the votes go here. Guys, get in your votes. Last second here. Come on. Do a vote. Are we staying, chat? At this point, we're, we're gonna have to start using our actual resources. Are we staying refined Lothric sword or are we just going funny great sword tee big weapon are we are we staying the cool I'm a realistic knight and I have a sword or are we just going I'm a fat fuck and I'm using a great sword and fat rolling Get your votes in now, chat. Vote in. Come on. There's 80 of you here. Let's get to 80 votes. Come on, chat. Vote, 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 vote. Vote, 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 vote. Chat, I don't know if you know. You're saying a realistic weapon will be a Schweihander? Chat, how big do you think a regular sword is in this game? Like, this is actually, this is not a short sword, my dude. A short sword would be less than half of this length. This is, in in the real world, Chat, this would be the Schweihander. I don't know if you know that. And you're saying I can't fight a giant monster? Gracious, I uh. Chat, you're saying I can't fight a giant monster using a realistic weapon? You're saying I can't do that, chat? You're saying I'm not strong enough for that? Ashen one. Chad, come on, vote. Vote. If you're in Chad, go vote. It's a close vote. I don't want to go to Great Sword. Okay, Chad, be be honest with me here, Chad. Be real. I, you know what? I'm going to go message Felix. I'm going to go message Felix. Because Felix actually knows this game. Because last time I built a weapon at the end of a game, Smo's Hammer, and I'm assuming I'm near the end of the game, okay? I built Smo's hammer and it fucking sucked. And I wasted basically every, like the thing is I wasted all my last, my late game upgrade stuff. So like I got Smo's hammer and I was like, cool. And I was just like, cool, amazing. And then I just sat there awkwardly like this sucks. And I just went back to my black knight X. Yeah, I'm asking if my current build, will my current build be able to slot in a quality Lothric Great Axe, sorry, Great Sword? Will I be able to just do this and fat roll and block my way to victory? Because here's the thing, I have my weight right now perfectly at 69.6%. Okay, and in this situation, I'm not fat rolling, I got heavy armor, I got my shield, I got a good weapon. Like, I now need to make the choice on what of my late game upgrade resource I used. I use it on this.
Which I don't two hand. How can I block if I'm two handing it? Think about it. Chat, I'm not losing the armor. I'm not losing the armor. Chat, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think, like, I think here's the problem. This, but there's not about try it for a bit. Look at how much stamina this shit uses, dude. There's almost like no way I'm gonna be able to block, hit like this, and go back to blocking. It's fucking impossible. I literally don't think there's. I, I, I think I'm just getting. I think you guys are just doing this stupid shit you guys always do where you troll me for literally no fucking reason. And then I just go a stupid build that actually can't really work. And then my actual build that's working gets fucked over. And then I go, ha, 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 ha. and then I have to like really awkwardly grind out upgrades to my refined Lothric sword. And I have to sit here and go, mm-hmm, cool, this is fun. I'm glad I have to spend two hours grinding now. Ah. I'll show you for no fucking reason, Ash. We do it because it's funny. But dude, it's not like here's the problem. It's not really that funny, especially for like a VOD when I have to sit here on the VOD. When I have to like sit here on the VOD, just like grinding for 12 hours. Hold on, let me look this up. Can I at least grind out? Can I at least grind out Titanite chunks? Okay, let's just go with it. Screw it. Why not? There, we, we now are great sword chat. We're now a fat rolling son of a bitch again. Yeah, I can buy infinite upgrades, chat, if I Google it and I and I start min-maxing shit and I start looking up builds and blah blah blah. But like Again. 460 damage per hit? Yes, with half the hits. You're like obsessed over the damage per hit and not over the fact that the sword can get in. This is not gonna work. I think I just wasted my time. The amount of time I need to spend hitting? Dude, there's no fucking way. I think I just doomed my build. I think it's. I think I went from like. I think I went from like. Like, first timing the bosses over and over, and now I'm like, fucked. Oh, I love this stamina recovery. That is a heavy attack. I don't know if it's a good one, it takes a long time. It certainly seems to fuck with his poise. Is this- are they seriously oh my fucking god, you stupid AI. Are they healing each other now? Oh my god. This is like really weak, actually. I I can already feel it, chat. It's upgraded higher than the other weapon is, and it's weaker. It's like I blow all my stamina just attacking. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it is currently a plus eight. The other one was a plus seven. Is it cooler? Wow, look at me, chat. Look. Oh, brr, 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 brr. oh. I almost stunned him to death. No, I didn't, dude. I didn't even have him close to death. Yeah, this weapon is just meant to stun lock enemies while you two hand it, chat. Yeah, this fucks up my entire build. Why did I choose to do this build? I don't know, chat was like begging me and I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that that is totally not what my build is trying to do. That is like not even close to what my build is trying to do. Like I, I, I've pretty much deliberately done my build in a certain way so I can block while sneaking in attacks and beat bosses. Chad, how the fuck am I going to sneak in attacks if every single attack drops half my stamina bar and takes 10 seconds to animate? Like, how am I going to do actual... Like, I don't give a shit, Chad. I don't give a shit about doing regular enemies. Like, who gives a fuck? They're regular enemies. But how am I going to do bosses? Yeah, no, that, that greatsword would not be able to clear this boss. That's what's funny. Oh, that was way further than I thought it would go. Chat, look at how little time I have to do my attacks before I need to be in my block. And you're telling me I could animate a greatsword? It's clear the greatsword is just meant to be used. It's clear the greatsword is just meant to be used two-handed using dodge roll spamming. If I'm using a shield, I need a weapon that can be sneaking in. I don't... I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't know how you guys aren't understanding this concept at this point. No, chat, I can't fucking spend nine minutes attacking. Okay, you know what, you know what, chat, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's pull out my, my weapon that is, like... Chat, it, it's literally like I'm trying to brute force an overpowered weapon into a build, not build for it. And you guys are like, Look, look, it kind of worked against that guy. Don't you think it'll work again? What? Oh boy, I managed to stun lock a knight with it. Wow, chat, that's crazy. No one has ever done that before. Honestly, I cleared the regular enemies. This build must be top tier.
Chat, I don't give a fuck about dodge rolling. I have a build that has been working very well without dodge rolling, and you guys are like, why don't you just use a two-handed great axe and then, and then dodge roll? Well, because that's not what I'm doing, is it? What do you think, chat? Is that my build? Is my build to use the great sword and two-handed and drop the shield and start dodge rolling? It's like if I'm using a mage build and you're like, guys, I have a good idea here. What if you respect, put every point into strength, grab a giant club and beat the bosses? Do you think that would work better? Two hand it and block with the sword. Yeah, that's gonna work. I I'm not even gonna humor that one. One punish I get when trying to sneak in an attack. There's two punish I get when trying to sneak in an attack. Oh, uh, the boss also appears to be immune to lightning. Oh, there we go. Okay, this was a stupid experiment. It worked exactly like how I thought it was going to. I literally, before I even upgraded the weapon, I knew exactly how it was going to work. And I thought, well, fuck it. I mean, let's try. No, dude, it's, it's like I'm trying to force a build that blatantly doesn't work to work just because Chad is fucking obsessed with, like, big sword. Big sword is so much cooler and realistic. Yeah, right. Can I get the stuff I spent back? Can I? Yeah, Chad, how could it fail? The two handed build didn't work with a shield build. Ain't that wacky. Like stun you if I, if I whack his shield Here's the thing I, I literally do more damage with this sword than the other one because I can sneak in two attacks versus one That's the funny part Is that like an animation or is he stunned? I can't really tell at that point. Feels unfair. Dude, I feel like straight swords just work better because they can sneak in two attacks so easily. 
It's like they literally designed straight swords exactly for the build. It's, it's like the build I'm doing is the literal exact build you're supposed to be doing. And Chad is like, but what if you didn't? I'm not role-playing anything. My build is working, is it not? Y'all are acting like my build is not working and I have to like swap my weapon up to make shit work. And I'm like, but it's working. And you're like, damn it. If you want your build to work, you're gonna have to swap to a great sword. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here like, but, but it is working. There's a second hit here that I can punish. I've read that one. Does that hit me? No. Does this shit just continue to attack the whole time? What is it with Dark Souls and charge attacks that blatantly miss their enemies from enemies? Okay. Oh, I... Mm, okay. You're gonna go and replay the game as a Chad Knight now? I mean, I think this works, does it not? Like, this, this feels literally intended. The entire... I have a weapon that uses low stamina with low weight. So then I can use a shield plus a weapon for less weight than a heavy weapon, allowing me to use heavier armor. Then I just use blocking to get, um, extra time to sneak in attacks. Boom. Like, I think so many people, like, overlook weight, and they're like, But the great sword do big do damage! It do the bigger damage! Yes, guys, now I'm overweight. Now I take a stamina penalty. So yes, my damage per attack is, is higher, but I get less attacks. Significantly less attacks, especially once you factor in the stamina. Here. Let's see if we can get him to do the charge and then I can just that's not the punishable charge. That's the painful charge I want him away from the wall because otherwise I can get knocked out just looks cool though chat I, I don't care who you are you're like no it's not realistic and I'm like haha funny block their attack every time no you don't understand how realistic is it that you can block a giant meanwhile I'm like my character is such a badass that he can block a giant
guys, if Ornstein was such a good boss, how come they didn't make him four times? I'm like afraid of like the shit off stage hitting me. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that doesn't normally hit me. Stop fucking animating when I'm animating. Take your turn, and then I take my turn. That's fair. I, Jet, you have to dodge roll out of wake up. Because your wake ups take longer if you don't dodge roll, but you're also not immune to damage, so you just get murdered. In Dark Souls 1, I could ignore it because you took significantly reduced damage if you were on the ground. In Dark Souls 3, if you're on the ground, you just get fucked. You, I was looking for you earlier. Legion, even a kind. <laughs> ah. You don't have what I want, though. Ah. Chad, the key to this build is upgrading the Black ah, Knight me. shield. Unironically, I'm not even doing a meme right now because once you do that, it increases its stability. Chad, I was here for the give me your doll soul moment. Okay, so what do we need most? HP is good. We're not okay. If we hit, we have hit like dimin like giga diminishing returns on HP though. We're getting 1.9% more HP. We're actually at the point where HP gains are starting to be about equal to damage gains. Stamina gains are shit, but oh well. So we're kind of at the point where no matter what we do, our gains are so weak. Yeah, we're getting about 1% damage no matter what we do. And we're getting 1.9% HP. So, um... Stamina seems to be fine. Let's drag you up to... No, let's drag you up. And then I guess we'll put 1 in HP just to be sure. Is it... No, oh, shoot. Okay, screw it. We'll just put two in strength then. We'll get strength and dex up to 30. Farewell, Ashen One. We're not dying in one hit, which is, you know, what we need to not do. So what is, uh, can we get, can we get the armor check? Can we get Ornstein's armor? I mean, clearly, probably, right? Uh. Probably, I mean, I can't imagine you couldn't. Yorm's Great Shield. Dragonslayer Great Shield. Chad, I found every secret area. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a great shield. I'm not- I'm, I'm just not dunking that much in, I think. Now, question, here's the problem, chat. Is Black Knight shield a complete RNG drop? Is there any way to farm it? Or like, 
Did I pick it up somewhere? I don't even remember when I got it. Because, I'm going to be honest, Black Knight, Gra Gra Black Knight Shield seems to kind of be like a key component here because it's actually just really good. Like, can you farm it? Did I just RNG it like I did in game one? You can farm it. Okay, so then this build can work. Because, like, you use your main hand, you use your weapon, you use the regular Titanite to upgrade. You upgrade the shield with your advanced Titanite. Yeah, you're fine. Why do the Black Knights have that good of gear lore-wise? Um... Okay, no, Chad, don't tell me. I know this one. So basically, the Silver Knights were like... Good? I think? Actually, yeah, no, they were for the one dude. And... Um... They worked for... Godwick? God... 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 God something. God... Godwin? I think Godwin? God... Godwick? Godric? Gwynric? Something like that. And they were like, let's fight demons. Grrr. And the demons charred them or something. And then they were like, no! Demons! Um. And then. Now they have anti demon gear. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I'm I'm like really one hundred percent sure that all this lore was made up on the spot. And then they just later clarified it and were like Oh, yeah, that's that's like definitely what happened. Oh, yeah that and they were like shit. That's so much better lore than what we wrote Tight night chunks. Like, basically, here's what I think happened. No, it wouldn't even have been Vadi. It would have been the dude before Vadi, whoever that guy was. Basically, I think a dude made a YouTube video about, like, the lore of the game, and I think he went over the Black Knights. And like, he wrote a bunch of stuff explaining them. And I'm like 100%, I mean, let's say I'm 90% positive that originally Black Knights are just supposed to be like, really hard enemy that drops giga OP weapon. And they're Black Knights, because Black Knights are the strongest in all the King Arthur stories. And... Then later on, like, there's probably some hints or something in the item descriptions, but they probably went, like, pretty wild with, let's say, speculation. And after going a bit crazy on the speculation, they then, let's say, clarified it in the third game to, to be like, yeah... Well, no, Chad, it's like, the Monty Python skit isn't... Like, they didn't just come up with the idea of a giga-strong Black Knight from thin air, you know? That, that was like... The Black Knight being this super-strong knight, that, that was definitely a thing.
Jed, if I die because my weapon's a plus seven instead of a plus eight, I'm gonna have to ban each and every one of you to death through strangulation. Dude, where is this invading little pussy at? Seriously, I'm trying to find this dude. I feel like 90% of PvP just comes down to like abusing like really bad netcode and just trying to put a hitbox out there so to speak that like your opponent walks into. So like I just swing wildly and I hope on his screen it hits him. Am I- am I doing it correctly, Check? Cause that's basically how I figured out how to win this. I just- I just start swinging wide and I'm like, surely the dodge roll on his screen will end up in there at some point. <laughs> Dude, but I'm so- The Virgin- Alright guys, we're gonna try to get lots of dodge rolling. We get in there, we got range dagger throwing. Dodge in, dodge out, poke him, okay? Versus the Chad- I have a big shield and armor. <laughs> no, you can't just spam swing. No. <laughs> Dude's like thinking of his build. He's like theory crafting. Farms for like 30 hours, gets his build perfect. He's like, oh my god, this would be so cool. Goes to PvP. Man, that guy's wearing really heavy armor. Fuck. Well, I'm sure he's not just gonna... Oh no. From what I understand, everyone goes with the curved scimitar shit. Because its swing is even wider. So again, I, I mentioned this earlier, but apparently it always rips people right out of their dodge roll. So they try to dodge roll, and because it's so wide, it'll just it'll just rip them out of it, and you hit them anyway. I mean, that seems to be, chat, though, like... That seems to be exactly how you do Dark Souls PvP, because the netcode is so bad. The netcode is so bad, you don't really focus on, like, trying to dodge or anything. You just focus on, like, you want to, like, put as much hitbox onto their screen as you can. And then once you do that... Yeah. Then you get parry and die? Uh huh. 
There's only so much I can do here, chat. I can't prepare for every inevitability in PvP. Because, like, how would I even prepare for a parry? Right? Like, you guys always talk up the PvP in this game, but, like, the netcode is so bad in these games. It's, it's not even like, oh, man, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. It's, like, abysmal. Like, it's insanely bad. Like, their screen is, like, two, three seconds below mine. I'm not even, like, exaggerating. Like, it's actually crazy. Chad, who the fuck is casting shit at me? Wait, so they even stole the, you're in a library with a scholar dude who keeps teleporting away from you? They even took that from Dark Souls? Okay, I don't even mean this as a mean way anymore. Did Elden Ring do anything unique? Or was it literally just like a best hits of Dark Souls? Was it literally just like a compilation album? How are they gonna... Chet... How are they gonna proceed... At this point? When they haven't done unique shit? Like, they do maybe one unique thing per game and everything else is just, like... Oh my god, are you shitting me? Is there anything wrong with that? Okay, but, like, yes, because how, as a company, are they going to continue if they're literally just doing a greatest hits compilation of their game? Like, okay, let me ask you a question. Once they move on and they're making, um, Elden Ring 2 or their next game, right? And, and the greater gaming audience is aware of what they're doing. Okay, let's say you, you go into Elden Ring 2 and you notice, oh shit, everything's kind of got the same animations. And you notice, oh wait, these are all kind of the same items again. And you notice, oh wait, everyone's kind of playing the same again. Oh my god. Yeah, but it worked because like, people like me weren't aware right people like me weren't aware the the greater gaming audience was not aware um of dark souls i certainly wasn't right There's being iterative, I agree, and then there's being like... There's being iterative, and then there's being like... Yeah, we are- we, we have the same animations, most of our items are the same, a shitload of our item sets are rehashed. Look, I'm like fine with the asset reuse cuz like or the 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 animation reuse cuz like you know how many animations do you need, right? Like you swing a sword or you swing a sword. You, you can only do it one way, you know? 
That just looked like an invisible wall. So like, whatever, but again, it's like this guy. This was a guy in Elden Ring that I thought, oh cool, he's got like really cool animations and stuff. And now I'm noticing why everyone in chat was like, oh my god, it's that guy. And I was like, what do you mean that guy? I haven't even fought him before. Chat's like, oh, it's that guy. And I'm like, uh, and now I'm like, I'm understanding it. It is that guy, chat. How good was his stuff? Less weight for significantly less stats. But the stat per weight is also kind of shit. Well, mm, yeah. So, like, I guess here's my question, Jet. How many times are they going to bring back Artorias? How many times are they going to bring back the Dragon Slayer armor, right? Like, it, 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 in a certain way, and I know I'm playing Dark Souls 3, which is like a greatest hits, but a lot of this shit is also just straight up in Elden Ring. You know? And I, I guess my question again is like, how many times are they going to be able to do the greatest hits at this point? Because it's, it's, it's kind of like... I'm kind of looking at these games, Chad. Now that I've played them all, like, back to back, I'm kind of looking at these games and I'm like, man, another fight with Ornstein. Again. You go to Dark Souls 2. Oh my god, it's Ornstein. You go to... Oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? Okay. Hmm. So, I wouldn't say the mounted combat was phoned in. Like, they clearly did try. It's just a matter of, like, they didn't really succeed. Like, they did try. So, like, let's put it that way. I'm on camp like they tried. So, like, I'm not going to be like, no, they is the bad company. Right? Like... It just sucked. It just wasn't very good. Right? Like, I think everyone would agree with that. It was just not very good. Okay, I need to kill this guy or he fucks everything.
I remember the worst part about horse combat is I remember there were uh, fights which were kind of intended to be used on horseback and then like a lot of people just straight up got off their horse even for those fights because they kind of sucked on horseback This area is so tedious. It's a bit annoying. I won't lie. I'm I'm not having the time of my life, chat. We are uh, not having the time of my life. It's certainly kind of old. Can you just be dead now? Just just go just die. Just be dead. Thank you. That's another thing too that I think gets overlooked is like dude, how many of the spells were just straight up used in Elden Ring? Dude, where are my souls? There they are. Like, how many spells from Dark Souls were just, like, shoved into Elden Ring? And, like, they just sort of, like, created lore to explain why they were there. And it made sense at the time, but then you go back and you look into it and they're like... You look into it and they're like... You, like, notice that they just sort of, like, made shit up to explain that they were just reusing the same goddamn spells again. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, these are the, the crystal mages of Crystulon. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you, did, did you did you guys just have crystal magic? Did you guys just have crystal shit from your other game? They're like, N no. These are these are these are totally different. Trust me. I'm not getting killed, am I? I'm starting to look at my rings here. The enemies lose more stamina. Flesh bite resists poison, bleed, cursed, and frost resist. Okay, that's not bad. Where was that one? By how much? Oh boy, of course it doesn't tell me. Why would it tell me? Okay, uh, 294277. Let's look at that then. Three, three, four, two, seven. Eh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not saying it's like bad chat. It's like I, I in a way like I actually think more companies should reuse assets Because like at the end of the day like do you really need another backstab animation? Do you really probably not? Right like you stab someone in the back with a sword. It's fine, right? But at the same time it'd be nice to have either some variety or um, Maybe it like gets a little bit different for like if your enemies are larger than you as I mentioned earlier yeah and that, and that's another thing is that Dark Souls 2 had so many good animations why didn't they uh Chad, is there a bonfire somewhere? Because I'm sitting on 121,000 souls. 
It shoved me bonfires every two rooms earlier. And now I'm feeling starved, Jet. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry for bonfire. You knock me off the cliff, you bitch. Yeah, I, I'm I'm like fine with them reusing some assets. Like you wanna bring back the pyromancy shit? Sure. Like, honestly? Like, sure. Honestly? Okay. It's just I'm afraid that the, uh... The ratio of reused stuff the new stuff is getting pretty questionable. Again, a as I play through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, I'm just, it's like I'm sitting here being the pointing meme over and 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 over and, over and I'm just like, hmm. Okay, what is happening, Chad? Surely they don't expect all of this to be done on one bonfire. I must have missed one. Too easy. I don't I don't want to risk being knocked off Dude who just turtles behind a shield you fucking coward I'm now at 137,000 souls. Normally, I wouldn't care if I lost them, but the number is starting to be a bit excessive. To the point where it's like, dude, give me the fucking bonfire, you piece of shit. Now, I could have died from that. Chat, where's my fucking bonfire? I would say Dark Souls 3 is pretty mechanically different. In my opinion, it's pretty mechanically different from Dark Souls 1. You know, otherwise I probably, you know, would, would say something. Chet, are you fucking serious? Where's my goddamn bonfire? This is ridiculous at this point. I'm gonna go back. Screw this.
wasn't there an elevator too? Where's, where does this elevator lead to? I see. You just shortcut right up there, eh? Um, so I can say two things, chat. Again, reusing animations and stuff can be fine. Especially because like at the end of the day you have to remember if like you play Dark Souls 1 and then you play Elden Ring and you're like Oh my god, I remember that move set like Sure, you know if it's a good boss, it's a good boss, right? And if it's fun, then it's fun, right? And you know, maybe it enhances uh, the experience in a way Maybe it even enhances the experience in a way That people who are good can you know Okay Black Knight Shield plus four. We need even less chat. We need even less stamina to block now. Pretty be careful. Welcome home, speak. Very well. Then top Hagen. Where's the great sword? I shot it. I killed the great sword, chat. Damn it. Great sword down. I mean, do I need to increase my stamina? Probably. I mean, you never know. But let's get two decks. Um, that's fine too. Farewell, Ashen One. May the May the flames guide thee. I will guide thee with the flame. Well, very well, then take me. 24 decks? Well, Chad, I need to block God. Chad, I, did you see how I was blocking that giant and was only using half my stamina? Chad, I need to get to the point where I can literally block three giants attacking me without losing any stamina. Chad, I need to get to straight. Chad, I, I'm telling you, use a great shield? No, chat. Because you know why? We are not a giga strength knight, okay? We are not, we are not strengthy strength strength. Lord of the strength, okay, chat? You know what we are? We are Reasonable Johnson. And Reasonable Johnson uses a medium shield and a simple sword and tanks giant enemy crabs. I'd be like, no, you can't just block everything with a medium shield that you upgrade to get more th oh, stability on. No, go to the great shield. No, stop doing a balanced approach medium shield build with the, the black knight shield. No. Yeah, I want God to swing at me. 
I want God to swing at me, see the amount of damage he's doing, and get depressed. And say, by God, even if I trained for an entire lifetime, the difference in our power level is just too vast. I want God to break down in tears like Vegeta after Frieza kicked away his giant attack. Okay, fuck you. Ow. Dang. God, a mage and an archer. Can it get any worse, chat? What is he doing? Why, why am I getting weaved? Why am I fighting the warriors of light? I don't know. Why am I? They're trying to fight me, but I'm just too Chad. Did you fucking let me block? Fuck off. Okay, chat. Now it's on to the mage. What? That's how you stab someone. Yeah, I don't know why people say Dark Souls is like an anti... Um, what do people say? They say Dark Souls is like an anti-power fantasy because you're so weak. I feel like... In a lot of ways, it's not. And I, and I think that's kind of been a meme that's gone too far with the developers and trying to make every enemy do 900 trillion combos while all you can do is dodge all away from them. Why shouldn't, chat, why shouldn't my high-level character be able to just block the Giga Meteor, right? Like, why not? Like, it's just, it's just such an Elden Ring meme that every enemy is cooler than you. But why? Why do they need to be cooler than me? I don't think that needs to be a thing. Chat, look, it's the Eclipse. Did anyone miss it yesterday? There it is. Oh, okay. Two of y'all bitches are here now. Okay. What do you guys like? The fucking Bruiser Brothers? What is this shit happening here? Okay. Dude, I can't ever land an attack on them. I got Weebicus number one over here doing the fucking wrath of. Is that. What, what does that spell? What does that spell, chat? Is that wrath of God? You guys said wrath of God was good. Was that wrath of God? It kind of looked. If I, if I named an ability wrath of God, that, that's probably what I would have it be.
So the giant AoE Giga Nuke is not Wrath of God. Then what the fuck is Wrath of God? How do you go up from that, chat? Does it just blind everyone and obliterate reality? Does it reconstruct your opponent? Does it just send them to hell? Does a hand just come out of the ground, rip out of the ground, and it just it just punches them into hell? Chat, were those were these people here someone that I shouldn't have been killing, by the way? They just sort of came at me and I had to defend myself. Yeah, you just use Wrath of God, it uninstalls their game. Okay. There's more? You killed the guy needed for this secret ending. I mean, did I? They attacked me, chat. I didn't do shit. Chat, there's no way I can beat all three of them. It's impossible. Have you seen how tough they are? Use Wrath of God, it de-levels the enemy. All this game needs is the ability to be a giga strength user who doesn't dodge roll. I can be a giga knight user, right? I can go giga knight, okay, but how do I go giga strength? How do I form Conan? You know what this game needs? Oh my god, wait, that would actually be perfect. This game needs like a berserker barbarian thing where your dodge roll gets replaced and instead you get like like stand firm and it's basically like a block but like with your chest yeah come over here you pussy you won't you won't yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you dumbass. Stop it. Chat. God. Well, so long as we don't have Wrath of God abuser. Oh 
god. Why can't I do that shit, chat? This is ridiculous. Jeez, chat. Try as they might, chat. From soft will never get me to have a fair fight. And it did look like one. That's the first rule on how to be a knight. Technically, the first rule would be take them to honorable 1v1 combat. Hunter's Ring. Mr. Hunter, what you got for me, buddy? Increases dexterity. Honestly, that's kind of useful for me. How much, though? By five? Oh, that's probably pretty good, right? I think that I went in there with 40k chat, so. Chat, I don't want to go all the way back and level again. Surely there's got to be a bonfire here, right? I can tell the enemies are starting to slowly outscale me. I'm keeping pace for the most part. Oh wow, that was really sad, buddy. Remember when uh, you used to be good? You used to be cool, Blue Knight. You ain't nothing. Oh wow, that hurt. Ignite Shored. Uh, that's just nothing. Mighty Dick Stab! Ultimate Weapon Art! Chad, this is a two-handed weapon. I just put it in one hand so I can have my shield. Ultimate technique. Anna, forgive me. I have to go out. <laughs> Take step.
Really, Blue Knights? How many of y'all are gonna be here? Nah, bro, you fuck off. God damn it. Dude, those fucking fuckers, dude. Dude, what, what do these people like walking in and out slowly? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chad, his sword is shit. Overloaded. Underutilized. Uh, I would say this game definitely gets better as you level up. I want to say one of the problems... I think a big problem is none of the classes are, like, well made. Like, every class just kind of sucks when you start the game. Or at the very least, the class that I play. Are you shitting me? Uh, okay. Guess it wouldn't be a Dark Soul game without a really annoying run that should kind of not have to be done. Oh god. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm not saying it didn't get better, but I'm saying like the early game for the shield class in Dark Souls 1 was good. In this game it fucking sucks. Like your shield eats way too much stamina. You can't block everything. Every enemy is doing giga, mega, ultra, three hit combo, heavy attacks and shit. Like, what the fuck? I should leave this area now? Literally, why? This is the area to go. He's such a heal, but I'm not. Shields suck early game. They do. They're fucking terrible. Like, trying to use a shield early game was miserable, dude. It sucked. Like, it's pretty blatantly obvious, they just assume you're gonna be using the new Giga Overtune dodge rolls every time.
so I don't need to go through three of those bitches. Like, they basically just tried to turn this game into Bloodborne. And they just, again, they just giga overtuned the dodge roll and then assumed everyone was just gonna dodge roll until late game. It's like, okay. Okay, are they gonna, like, stop aggroing on me? What the fuck? Like, seriously, are they just gonna march across the entire fucking map? Obviously, I can't beat three of them at the same time. What the fuck is this aggro? They're literally aggroing from across the goddamn map. How are they still aggroed? defeated so far did how I like I don't understand why they aggroed all the way from the top of the stairs down to here and then just followed me the whole fucking way like holy shit my god are you serious dude like where did this guy come from takes so long to animate how could you possibly use that mid combat okay His only weakness. No shield. Okay. Jesus Christ, there better be a fucking bonfire up here, dude. Are you shitting me? If this is a boss chat, I'm just gonna quit. I'm gonna quit the game forever. That'll be it. It'll be more like done souls. Am I killing people? Okay, where's my goddamn bonfire? 
I'm even in a new area. Dude, it's been like two hours since I've gotten a bonfire. Shrine. Well, very well. Then take. Let's see. I mean, I guess getting a little bit more of oh, that could help. And let's see. We need to raise you to twenty-five. And let's uh, let's just raise my endurance up just a smidgen. Get a little bit more stamina. Farewell, Ashen One. <sighs> Was I here again? Santa round wooden shield. It bears a double bladed axe, the mark of a warrior. Okay. Is this all I do, Chad? I just go back to the same area over and over again? Hole on deaths for the next boss. Zero. One shotable. Chat, he is looking submissive and one shotable. Oh, I ain't dealing with that shit. Yeah, fuck off, buddy. Yeah, they, I shouldn't be afraid of the boss. No, no. The boss should be afraid of me. Oh, dear. Okay. Cutscene. So, let's see. Two enemies and a second phase. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Because that'll be SNO. Right? Mind you. The mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Is this guy talking or is who's Lorian, Elder Prince. Okay, first off, cheap. Virgin teleportation versus Chad. I'm gonna hit you with my sword. Sad Napoleon meme. There's nothing we can do against that attack.
Yep, second phase called it. You had a brother? I'm on my way. Well, you had a brother. My brother. Unyielding sword of Lothric. You kind of look sickly, my dude. Are you okay? Why didn't we just do magic to fix his legs? Just use magic, buddy. There's magic in this universe. Is our curse. Dumbass, I have a fire shield. Oh shit, he's like casting spells and shit now. Hmm. This spot marks our grave, but you may rest here too, if you like. What does holy damage count as, chat? Is that magic? I went the wrong way. Wait. Neat. Uh, but what do you mean there's no holy? It would mean it's just holy. Is it just true damage? Is it just a true damage mechanic? Why did dude just spend them bold? I'm bold? Okay. Of all things you could have done with your time. Wait, I just- wait, what? Wait, what? But didn't this one go up? Wait, what? Am I going crazy? Wait, am I not in the right one? No, this is the right one. What the fuck? Are we really doing this shit again? Oh my, I just noticed your hairline. Do you not like my hairline?
I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm not sure if I can do this, boss. I'm like, I'm like thinking about it. And like... Face that maybe? This spot marks our grave. But you may rest here too, if you like. I was leveling strength instead of agility. <sighs> I'd have to yoink. Ugh, that's a lot. I would have to yoink nine points into strength. Which is, uh, a bit of farming. Okay, I just want my souls. I mean, if I had nine more points in strength, I could take out the magic tower shield. Dude, it doesn't even seem like a femboy. He just seems like he's 12 years old. Yeah, you know, like, why is that 12 year old not very masculine? I don't know, Chad. He just kind of sounds like he's really young. Respect, maybe. How about you respect my deck? Yeah, all I need to do is block more effectively.
you didn't, you bait, bitch. This is it, Jet. He didn't stun himself. Last time he stunned himself when he did that shit. Oh my god, he keeps fucking baiting me. Jesus, you little fucking bitch. Oh no! No, I refuse. We have to Ember Jet. There's no way. He's, he's dying here, like 100%. Now what are you gonna do, you little cripple? That's right. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I see. Okay, so why can he revive him? Okay, he's got a giga weak spot on his backside, I just noticed. I have had set chat, I, I heard in 3D where he was. a fake out okay he is his backside weak point uh, seems to have been exaggerated by me when I said he had one Okay, it detargeted him, so I wasn't shielding in the right direction, apparently. The detargeting in this game is kind of frustrating. 
So many bosses to target. Yeah, okay, I was kind of worried he was going to chain cast um, the little magic missile things, but he, he seems to only do it on spawn, so I'm just going to block him out. Sprinting doesn't detarget. teleported away from me the entire time that I forgot he was going to do that. Let's see Ella. I get a dodge rolled? No. Unfortunately, I could not have. If I dodge rolled, my character would have imploded into 10 billion little fiery particles of shame. Splattered on the wall. Abusing such an overpowered and easy mode mechanic would have brought dishonor and shame unto me and my family. Felt dickish. Oh, oh god damn it. But you may rest here too, if you like. Dude, he teleported pretty far away from me on that one. That one was kind of fucked up. Quick question. So, are they dead? Why are they dead? Why do we need to burn them in the pillar? I feel like there should be an alternate ending where we talk to them and we're like... Yo, actually, you raise a, like, kind of a legitimate argument. Maybe we should just let the world end. Our bad. 
What happened to the serpent, by the way? What happened to like the, the great serpent? You know what I mean? Such a fake out, dude. I didn't mean to actually do that. I was trying to sprint. Dad. Uh, that was behind the pillar. But you made us too. Bullshit. So basically, everyone who linked the fire is getting revived and refuses to link it. So, here's my question, chat. When the fuck did the giant link the fire? When, when did... When did... Okay, you cannot, okay. Okay, that was mean. What did I ever do to them, chat? Okay, well, it kind of sucks because, like, it won't lock back. I can't even fucking see where they are.
Thank you, Diego M. Can't zone it out, nothing. Bit of a fuck you move, especially because I, I I don't know where he is all the time. I was hoping if I hit him enough, I'd get the stun. I felt like I was close. All oh, right, we need to, uh... God damn it, I wanted to stay on the ground so that shit didn't kill me, but then he was giving me the wake up. Uh, uh... Right when they summon the second phase is kind of like really goddamn lethal. Because he's gonna spawn far away from me, summon up all the things, then he's gonna teleport next to me. Then after he teleports next to me, he's gonna have all the little summons are gonna hit me. But I also need to be blocking. much of a stun there, eh? Did he actually just fake that shit? Oh my 
god. That's easy. Not so easy. God damn it. Why did he, okay, when when does he get a fucking triple combo? Every other attack is one or two, not fucking three. Uh well, boss has been the hardest so far of all Souls games. Whatever the first Morgoth is. That one is like blatantly the hardest and it's not even fucking close and everyone saying otherwise is on such like giga mega ultra double buttercup copium it's insane. The souls community has collectively gaslit themselves into thinking that boss is even fucking close to a reasonable boss. It's like the entire Souls community has come together and gaslit themselves into thinking that's a fair boss. Stun, is it, Chad? <laughs> but that's exactly what he is, Chad, a tutorial boss. I'm not saying, like, obviously, any boss. If you get to max level, is gonna be the easiest boss. I'm not, I'm not judging him based on how hard he would be if I, you know, I'm, I'm judging him based on his his position in the game. And difficulty. God. He's Margit. Learn the game. Yeah, sorry, chat, that the boss who has the same name is like another dude who changes his name halfway through who appears three times once as a phantom. My bad, I, I didn't remember the name he took the first time you fought him. Margit isn't Morgoth. In fact, it's Margit, but Shade of Morgoth, but maybe Morgoth. I don't know, dude. It's, it's very memorable. Chat, Margit isn't Morgoth, idiot. Although, yes, actually, Margit is Morgoth. How do I feel about this boss in relation to Elden Rings? Chad, he has one and two hit combos and sometimes he teleports. Compared to an Elden Ring boss, this is like Giga Mega Ultra Easy mode.
dodge roll out of that down state or I'm just dead. Oh, oh okay, well, fuck you then. Okay, you know, I don't know why I keep falling for that. I lit I I it's like dude, he's 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 such a piece of shit. You can literally see I try to turn my character, but no, I'm like 10 fucking degrees off, so I get fucking half health. Dude, the fact that that move can de-target him, so like, you're, you're like trying to think like, okay, where... I literally have to dodge roll out of the down state or I can just be combo deathed. It's just it's just a mechanic of this game. If I could pick myself up without dodge rolling, I would, but I literally cannot. He's always just gonna appear and he did it so fast that time. I don't. Okay.
what to do about that move when he teleports too far away for me to like I can I most of the time but there's sometimes where he fakes it out as well he's got two different ways to fake out that teleport move one of which he teleports away then attacks you when you run close one where he teleports and then he's actually above you that one so like the, the problem is if I just start sprinting towards him he's just gonna stab a sword in my face Sprint jump? Would that work? Wait, if you jump, does it work? I don't think that works, chat. And this is Elden Ring, but I'm fairly certain you don't actually have a jumping, like, hitbox in this game. Like, you're always just gonna be a hitbox, you know? Like, I can't, if it detargets that hard, it sucks. Like, it sucks if he detargets that hard on me. Okay. But you may rest here too, if you like. Yeah, right. The, the most dangerous part is right after he transforms and when he teleports far away. Because the problem is I have to hide behind a pillar then block. And if he... like, It's just the D target when he jumps up because it doesn't seem... Like, it, it's, it basically seems like I have like a five degree angle to block him when he jumps above me. Like a five degree angle. And if I'm not locked in him, I basically can't do it. I mean like I, I'm blocking directly up his ass and it's not working you know I can actually at, at this point chat I can literally hear which of his attacks are gonna double
come on, where can I block? I literally can't fucking block that attack, dude. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I I just don't even get it, dude. It's like I the first couple of runs I could block it and it wasn't so bad. Now I can't fucking block it. Chad, they wouldn't need to make the elevators like this if they just put a bonfire outside his area anyway. So, drolling is cheating, but auto-target is not. Also, it's... And it's also supposed to magically keep you on target no matter what to make you automatically shield in the right direction. Hmm, curious. Daddy, you're right. Just go, go do your non. Yeah, chat. It, it, it's actually way easier, I think, to uh block than to dodge roll this fight. This spot marks our grave, but you may rest here too, if you like. Chat, you can you can also tell that the like angle at which you can block attacks in Dark Souls 3 has been substantially reduced. In Dark Souls 1, you basically block 180 degrees. Like the entire front half of your body is a block. In this game, it's like you got maybe 90 degrees. Maybe. And even then I would say it's probably more like, if I had to guess, it's probably about 70 degrees. Right? It's probably about like 70 degrees in front of me. the dodge roll because I was getting fucking blocked by the chair. This game is, uh... No, even if I try to run out of the circle, it doesn't work. I don't know 
why I did that. Could you not? The fucking attack the second I went for it, eh? Could you not? Could you could you It, it de fucking targeted, dude. You didn't know he rezzed? Really? Because it, uh, it kind of sucks, chat. It kind of sucks that he rezzes. Kind of, kind of. Otherwise, I could just beat the shit out of Fat Man. Is that the Pontiff? No. I mean, is there like a magic resist ring? Okay, fine. That's not what I wanted, but okay.
What? Bullshit recount. See what I mean, dude? It's, it's, ah. Uh... Damn it. favors the bold. Oh no. Oh no you don't. No, no, no. I've fallen for this one before. you and I did it the first try which is really what makes me happy do you want to know the lore did I just press do you want to know more I'm right back and I get water in bed watching the fight it was indeed first time yeah first time jeff first try first try <laughs> 
do Arch Dragon's Peak? Uh, well, yeah. Well, first off, chat. HP is arguably fine. I only have a one. Oh, let's put that point in strength. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. May we let you one? Is she gonna die too, chat? Are we gonna lose? Well, Are we losing well. blind waifu? Farewell, Ashen One. Chat, what level are you guys when you guys go to beat the game? Because I'm 86. Someone said they were like a level 100 when they did the DLC. When I sell those souls? I need them for like soul maxing. Chat, I only eat souls when I need them. Okay. Yeah, I need to upgrade my shit. Ha okay, we need to... Ah. Hmm... I mean, do I just eat the souls chat or do I go for the Lord weapons? No, you know what? My weapons are fine, Jet. I got a blade, it stabs people, it killed a god. Two, in fact. Honestly, Chet. Pretty much a perfect thing. Uh. Um hmm. Look at the weight on these things. Are you kidding me? I don't think there are any swords here. It's all like, every weapon here is just like, oh, we go, Lo Lothric's holy sword. Wait, should I go for that? Wait, Chad, is this better than my sword? Or not? No, I think it's worse. Well, it doesn't scale that much on faith. I could get the faith. No, no. Is this just the best weapon I'm gonna get till we upgrade my Black Knight weapon, chat? Okay, how do I farm my Black Knight weapon up, chat? At this point. Um, this shit. How do I get Twinkling Titanite? Chad, how do I, how do I, and how do I get Titanite Chunk? And how do I get Titanite Slab? Well, the Black Knight Great, see, see, look at this. This does 166 plus 154. This is already almost as much damage. Be careful. I don't want. Who, who am I going for? Yeah, I don't know what a nameless king is. When I said I'm doing a blind first run, I I'm, I kind of meant it. It's so like a nameless king. Who? Is he nameless? Okay. Go from the dancer's boss room. Go up, ladder, and left. Is a nameless king a DLC boss?
Sa! One way, one way. You might have a Giga Mace, but I have a Sword of God Slaying. You hit like a girl. I do want your armor, though. Shit, those are the Cathedral Knight leggings. Well, which is better? Ah, these are probably better. Chad, if he's a nameless king, why would he be the son of someone? He can't be the son of someone. He's nameless, idiot. Um... What the fuck? Chat, where the fuck am I? What is this shit? I like how these bosses, that, I, I like this dude's attack is just completely fucking unreadable. Like, like when you ask me, oh man, why do you hate Dark Souls 3 and forward combat? Like, what, what is this? How do I read this, chat? How do I block this? How do, how do I interact with this character in a, in a fun way? Like, come on. I challenge you, sir. No, fuck. Why are you so big? Ass stab. Ass kick. Am I? Chat, where am I? What is this? What, what am I in the consumed king's garden, it said? This, it's, it's such it's just such a perfect camera amazing yeah except chat if I was to use a great weapon I don't get to fucking like, just have infinite poise. Bullshit. Thank you, Shadow. 
I don't know why for some people it says when they subscribe and then like for the vast majority it's like I've noticed it's like one out of every ten people that subscribe it says about Chad is this where I'm supposed to be going this kind of feels uh hard not like super hard, but like why are there knights next to chaos entities? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, but sure, fuck it. Yeah, I want to get my weapons fully upgraded, don't I? Like, what? Do I want to go into the to the to the DLC and stuff naked? No, Chad. I want all my equipment. <laughs> Magic stone plate ring. Please tell me that's magic damage reduction. Absolute perfect. And just in time. Exactly when I needed it. Who am I membering? Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. What the hell am I fighting? What am I doing? As Ciro's, the consumed king. You don't take a lot of damage, my friend. Sack? Jed, he seems to be a bit angry, but I'm not the one who did whatever to Ocelot. That wasn't me, buddy. That was everyone else. How do I hit you? Play fair!
tell there's got to be a bonfire earlier, right? Okay, check. Give me the lore. Why? Why am I like? Why? Why is there a seat the scaleless fanboy talking about some dragon named Ocelot while a bunch of churchgoers watch? He is the twin's father. Who? He tried to attain power by using dragon magic. What? Who's Ocelot? So, how do I get over there without having to fight all four of those people over and over again? Because uh, that, that will surely get old. Yeah, sure, I can head right through it, chat, and then, like... Yeah, come fight me. Right through here. I know what's gonna happen. Okay, so basically Basically this dude is like This dude is super evil. I mean, is he related to any of the other characters I know? You know, chat, far from bringing a shortcut, this doesn't seem like it improved my situation at all, in fact. So he's the father of those dudes. Well, why doesn't he link the flame then, jackass? Wait, so he's holding an invisible baby. 
Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. Okay. It's not invisible, it's just reworked to make it seem that he's just crazy. So, what? So where is Ocelot then? Or did they, like, did they cut the lore? Like, is that what happened? Is this one of those situations that they originally had lore and then they just cut it because fuck it? Is audio of a baby getting crushed. Wait, so of everything in the game, that's what they decided was too dark? A baby getting crushed? Chad, this doesn't seem to actually be an improvement because now I'm still running through shit. What the fuck? Okay, where where is this? Okay, so... So, so basically, from what I'm gathering, he was intended to be holding a baby, and he was supposed to accidentally crush it during the fight. But, then they decided that was too dark, so they removed that, so now he's just... So, so basically they decided to remove it because it was too dark, but now the plot the lore has like this weird thing where there's a character who clearly is holding a baby that still has the audio of a baby but they removed the visual so it's like really jank now You can, okay, so he's, he's clearly holding it, but... Ah. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. 
But he's got audio of him being clearly crazy, so I don't think that fits, chat. Not gonna lie. No. No. Show yourself, Barcelona. I think they they did their best. It's probably if I had to guess, chat. If I just had to guess, awesome. okay. Yeah, it was supposed to be he crushes the baby, then goes in rage. Okay, yeah. But then they were like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah, fuck this. At the last second, they were like, guys, do we need, do we really need the baby crushing boss in the game? Maybe, maybe we cut the baby crushing boss. I, I don't know. This one's getting a little bit weird. Yeah, it's not about being violent, it's about even having the idea of a baby crushing boss is kind of fucked up, you know? Like, I I'm sure many people would probably have been like, Ugh. 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 Boy, this is not the best boss I've ever fought, not gonna lie to you, chat. Kinda just waiting for it to be over. The audio is nice, but I obviously... Dude, where are we? Uh, what was I gonna say? The, uh, the, the, the lore and stuff is nice, and the audio is nice, but like... They, they clearly cut out the baby crushing. Well, and and that kind of I'm not saying like oh my god without the crushed baby this ruins my plot but like you know well, I should want. Uh, they clearly intended the baby crushing uh, so anyway we're done with that area Oh wait, I can upgrade it with a Titanite slab. Wait, but don't I need that for my shield too? Ooh, no, I'd rather not. Mm. Ja hold on, didn't you guys say that slabs are super limited? So maybe I should just upgrade my Black Knight sword for now. Yeah, let's let's save it for the Black Knight sword. I mean, I just it feels to me that like without the baby crushing that the like a lot of the boss like cuz you have to a lot of like as you enter this zone, you hear the dragon, you hear him crying, you hear a baby audio, right? Like you hear all this shit going on, right? And it's pretty clear 
that like it was all building up for you to be like holy fuck did he just crush his baby because like he like splats that shit in that animation dude Path of the dragon. I want path of the night. Yeah, I, I take lots of fall damage. Reach the un unintended. I feel like this area would have been very easy to accidentally reach. No, like wouldn't this area have been like crazy easy to just accidentally fall upon? And this is supposed to be like one of the giga secrets. All you have to do is go up and accidentally go left and be like, wait, this area is way too hard for me. We have two th well, we have a couple things left to do. to get to the the twink area okay y'all are like trying to be like all right but here's how to get to the super secret double mega secret mega ultra double secret area and i'm like oh cool i guess yeah i'm trying to reach some twinks chat So wait, are we going to go back to the Firelight Shrine, but underground? Dun dun dun! Wait, did Elden Ring even fucking steal that? Like, is there any singular concept that Elden Ring didn't just yoink? You know, I thought people were joking. 
I thought people were joking. When they said Elden Ring just yoinked everything from Dark Souls. Like, I thought they were exaggerating or something, but like, oh, Lee, fuck. Yes, I love spam enemies that have five hit combos that can infinite chain you. No, Elden Ring had the whole extra round table that they literally didn't explain and everyone had to like make up a reason for because you know and I hate harping on Elden Ring but like because holy shit they cut so much content half the game didn't make sense anymore Dude, Elden Ring YouTubers should honestly, like, here's my actual opinion, chat. I feel like Elden Ring YouTubers should actually just get a job writing books. Because they basically made the entirety of Elden Ring's lore. They're clearly competent writers. They just sort of made some shit up, right? Like, they should have just worked with that. Got a job. Okay. No, they didn't made it up. What the fuck? It's canon lore. Dude, I watched a lot of those Elden Ring videos, my dude. Um, to say that it's canon lore, dude, they will like take one tooltip that says one vague statement and run a fucking three mile marathon with it. And then people will say, you don't understand, it's canon. They'll be like, uh, an item description will be like, and then Yurgothal killed the giants. And they'll be like, well, what does this mean? 30 fucking minute video Let me put it this way chat I very much would not be shocked to see a shitload of youtubers suddenly have everything they just YouTubed contradicted despite being lore experts and shit because like the Elden Ring developers are like nah dude we didn't intend fucking any of that what the shit are you talking about And by the way, before you say I'm exaggerating, the content cut includes likely what the fuck the round table, the second round table was even supposed to mean. Um, almost the entirety of the Elder Gods, most of Moog's storyline, but Moog in particular kind of sucks because like from what I understand they're not gonna go back and like flesh him out and or make him more interesting or anything like that they're just gonna like like they're not gonna add to the base game or anything Moog is still just gonna be this like 
giga ambiguous character, they're just gonna like pave over the road and, and just move on with the story. What, are we doing this again? I don't have a Healy Shrine. Black Knight Glaive. That seems cool. Is that good? See what I mean? If I don't dodge roll out, they can literally just infinite you. Die? I'm backing out the whole fucking way and keeping my space, dude. And the game's just like, nah, you didn't. size. God damn. Okay. I wasn't really wowzered when I entered Limgrave. So is this a DLC area or is this base game? Figure out what do I do about that shit.
space. Okay, did I... Did I just get comboed like I'm playing Street Fighter? Okay, fair enough. Okay, you're very good with your halberd. Okay, I, I, I appreciate your halberding. Pretty sure I was blocking, but okay. How come I don't get to, to, to combo enemies, chat? I feel like I feel like this game is is definitely leaving the player behind. You know what I mean? Like, like, I can definitely see the beginnings of the Elden Ringing of, like, the player is just, like, leaving the game. Chad, yeah, no, I made fun of Arturius for this same shit. I, like, it's not a good excuse to say, well, he's actually super mega ultra stronger than you, but he was back in time, and that's why he's so strong here, and actually he's only using 20% of his power, and actually, like, okay, at the end of the day, what you're saying is, he does a lot cooler shit than me, and that kind of sucks. Okay, I think I found his weak side. Oh, yeah. You got a weak left, my dude. I blocked that attack. What is happening? It's a second time. Honestly, I feel like it wouldn't even be that much. You know what I mean? I feel like it wouldn't even be that much to ask. Just things like... Literally just take some of your moves and let them combo. You know what I mean? Like, doing single hits is fine. But at the end of the day, you know, may maybe there should be some comboing. Maybe you should be able to do something. Because, like... Oh my god, he's... He's Gundir. He's, he's better than you. He's stronger than you. He's faster than you. His dick is bigger than yours. Like, 
He's a cool dude. Okay, sure, but... Because your attacks don't stagger bosses, so your combos would mean nothing. Okay, but maybe then bosses should have, like, poise, stagger, something. Like, the complexity that bosses have gone through has been dramatic. Whereas the complexity players have gone through... What's the most complicated thing a player can still do to a boss? Parry, right? Like, that's it? Parry? the edge of the map, right? Yeah, I was... It's, it's like his non-stop giga hits. It's like I'm trying it's like I'm trying to fight Demon King and I'm trying to like at the very least get in some hit trades, but he also can do like heavy hit into heavy hit animation cancel, heavy hit animation cancel, heavy charge animation cancel, double hit animation can I'm just sitting here like okay. That, that, the, we're, we're, we're watching a cool boss fight, but at a certain point, just make a fucking AMV and then let me get to play the game too. Where are 
are my souls? Ah, that's not good. Okay, like, you see what I mean with the, uh, very fun game design here, chat? He does a heavy hit. Okay, I sprint in, get to the exact edge of the hitbox, try to do a sprinting attack. Animation cancel, giga charge, animation cancel, knock up. Waits for me to stand up, heavy hit again. Okay. Surely, you say, this is actually super good gameplay, because if you dodge rolled, right. You gotta admit, this boss is fucking cool. Chat, this is my OC, do not steal. This is Gunder. He's much cooler than Arturias. Arturias is a fucking loser, I say in parentheses. He's like twice as cool. Also, the Gunder you fought earlier, he was like super weak. He was only using like 1% of his power. Uh, this is Gunder at full power. I mean, he only uses like 20% of his power because he's like so strong. You have to go back in time to fight him because he's stronger than everyone else. That's right. I think both his arms are broken. He can only fight using 20% of his power, but that's really all he needs. Which of his 19 different fucking animation cancels will he use, chat? And I have to predict it when I try to get a heal in. Oh, you idiot. Every single body, every single bone in his body is broken. He's breastfeeding at this moment. He's in debt to pay off his mother's cancer fund. That's not even a weapon. That, that's a that's toilet paper. He couldn't afford the real weapon, chat.
also, he's defending the world from two meteors crashing into it. Welcome. Parentheses, Radon is only doing one. He is so much weaker. Okay, so I've hit the... Chad, have I hit diminishing returns on strength at 30 or is it 40? Well, at a certain point, I think I kind of need more HP as well. Well, I have a ring that gives me... Oh, hold on. If a ring gives me dex, does it cap out or not? Okay, I'll be honest, we kind of need more stamina. It's kind of a bit of an issue. I'm going to grab stamina. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. You fought Gundir in his prime. The uh, uh, chat, you know what? It might as well say after you killed Gundir, enemy defeated, parentheses, but like he wasn't even using 2% of his power. Foe slain. But dude, he was like super weak. You didn't really accomplish anything. You're a bitch. Gunther is a good one. Welcome. Very well. Then take it. I don't really need equip load. Let's just grab some strength here. We got some stamina. Farewell, Ashen One. It's a shame almost every boss you fight in the game aren't at their prime. Chad, do you think they ever have competitions? Do you think they ever have competitions at FromSoft at writing the best OC? Someone writes Arturias. Someone's like, yeah, yeah, but Gunther is like way better. Another guy runs in. You haven't even seen the Nameless King, okay? He's like... He's like, he's so much better. Now that guy runs in. Okay, but have you seen End of the World Gale? Uh, actually, he has the Dark Soul. They're like, oh my god. Oh wait, oh my god. Chat. It's Black Knight Great Axe. I need it. Chat, I need to beat it because then I can beat two games with it and then people will complain. It's perfect. Chat be like, you're only complaining about Gunter because you beat him but only using block. Okay, chat, my bad. I already have Black Knight armor. Dun dun dun! 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 Huh. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Are we doing this again? I feel like we've been here before. Deja vu. I have been in this place before. Wait, you would, in order to get the faith ring, you'd have to already basically beat the game. Jesus, fuck. That's brutal. Is Wolf Knight any good? Wait, Wolf Knight, that's Artorias. Dude, Artorias' armor is shit. Why does he, why is he even tanky? Fuck him, Jad, he should be a little bitch like that. Oh my god, a dried finger? Is this an Elden Ring reference? Okay, Artorias' armor is shit. Best not tarry long. Oh. 
I don't even have the souls for it. Plus, apparently cathedral armor is the best armor in the game, and it kind of drips me out, not gonna lie. Because I still have that, like, realistic look going on, you know what I mean? So... Chat... Basically, the way I understand this is this is a... Are we in the past? Is this a past where this area sucked? Holy King Lothark, last hope of his line. Are they not even going to change it? So wait, why would this be... Oh no, Ludlith the Exiled. Okay, so it is different. Saint Aldric the Deep. No, what? No, Jade, it should be different people. Watchers of the Abyss. No, this is bullshit, chat. Why are we just doing the same shit? Fuck you. Stupid game. Stupid useless fucking game, chat. Fuck this game. Chat, why would it be the same people if we're in the past? Chad, if it's a future... Chad, if it's a future, then why wouldn't, um... If it's a future, then why wouldn't she know us, the, that person? Is this it? Are we done? This would have to be an alternate timeline, Chad, or else she would know us. So, is there anything that Elden Ring did that is actually unique? That's like, actually at this point, a serious question. Chad, I didn't beat the game with the Dark Knight Halberd. I beat the game with the Dark Knight Great Axe. <sighs> so wait, why are there Black Knights around this Firelink Shrine? There aren't any around mine. Hornet ring. Boost critical attacks. I don't need that shit. OG draft Pontiff Sully was here. Chet, okay, so my understanding is basically they wanted to actually end Dark Souls 3 in a really interesting way. And they had a whole story and everything was going to be like super cool and creative and interesting. And then they were like, yeah, fuck all that. The Uchi Katana. Oh my God. The Chaos Blade. Wait, I remember you guys talking about the Chaos Blade. Chaos. I want to fuck. Chaos. <laughs> Yo. Bitch. What do you- I'm reminiscing about YouTube videos. <laughs> so my understanding is they originally wanted to make the game like super cool and interesting and amazing. And then they kind of just like, they kind of just went, ah, eh, fuck it. 
phoned it in and were like, uh, never mind, Dark Souls, it's shit. Fuck you. Let us make Bloodborne. I can't even open this shit. So is the lore of any of this explained in-game, or is it kind of made up? Like, it truly, to me, believes... It, to me, seems that they had a grandiose plan for finishing off Dark Souls in a really cool way, and then kind of just got annoyed and tired, and then made the plot, okay, fuck this shit, just, Dark Souls is dead. Fuck you. Can you guys go two seconds without like, like if you want to like spoil plot, that's whatever. But oh my god, it's like you guys are like so fucking coy. Maybe something is different in the tower now. Oink! I'm just sitting here like. I found the tower. Do you mean Firelink Shrine? That's what you mean. Yes. If that's not what you mean, what tower? Good. Yeah, wait, what where is my twinkling titanite then, Chad? Cuz I was promised twinkling titanite and uh boy, I sure don't have any. What happened to that? Did I kill two big monsters here? I mean, I killed the one. Well, I killed the, the two guys over here.
bitch. I'd be like, please go to my favorite area, please. I will spoil it on my ass if that's what it takes to get you to pay attention. I did kill the crystal lizards. What, you guys again? What is this? Ashen Estes Ring. That is not at all what I thought that was gonna be. Oh boy, we get like a whole thing. Uh, what was that one? Uh, uh restores F, increases FP, restored the. Uh, oh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Not seen it yet, Hildrick. Okay, so I don't think there's anything here to learn or do. I feel like I'm missing something because everyone was dying in that area up there. Unless this was like a suicide cult thing, but I've only seen suicide cults in Dark Souls 2. Hold on, Jed. I gotta go back. Jed, I'm not gonna farm the Great Axe. The, the Black Knight Blade is what I need anyway. Wait, there's a thing up there. But how would I get up there? Unless that wasn't a thing? Who knows? Chad, I know exactly how to reach the fat dragon's boldness. Okay? The stupid dragon of Dum Dumville. I know how to get him, chat. What you do is you tell the nameless king, Hey! You suck. I bet I could block everything you do and beat you, and then he'll be like, "No, no that's you, you're playing the game wrong. You, you gotta dodge. You're playing the game wrong." And I'll go, "No, fuck you, asshole." And he'll be like, "Nee," and then he'll cry himself to death. Right, kitty? Okay, wait. But there were there were all these signs here. What was was what was this? Critical foe. What does that mean? Ah, good luck. What do you mean? Ah, lonely. What do you mean critical foe? Ah, happiness. Like a dream? What do you think, kitty? You're thinking wow 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 wow? Meow. Meow. That's you, kitty. Meow. 
Okay, I'm out of here, Chad. I'm done. I'm done with it. Okay, chat. Do you know what item I got there? It was very important. And you guys think I'm too stupid to figure it out. What we gotta do is give the eyes to the firekeeper. Yeah, you think I didn't remember? Oh, champion of ash. Welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Nah, dude, I got you some eyes. How do I give you eyes? You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. Cool. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Okay. No, to be honest, but if I have a oh, terrible... No, she's like a firekeeper in training. Oh my god. But she's blind! I thought... Why? But she's blind! Then whose eyes? But she had eyes. Did she have eyes in that universe? Am I giving someone else's a different person's eyes? Welcome home. Speak then. Ew. Oh no, that's disgusting. Ew. Okay, fine. Ashen one. Are these? Yeah, eyes. I got them just for you. Are these eyes? Yeah, you want to go on a date? I get your eyes. How gracious of thee, Ashen one. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Cool. Very well. Why did then the music change? Chad, yeah, why did it play a note? You guys heard that, right? Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. Why is it doing that? Wait, I gave her the eyes and then it did that note. Why did it do that? Why did it do that, Chad? Why the piano? Hmm. That doesn't sound like a happy piano. Ah. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be nothing. Gracious. Why would they give me the option to give someone eyes? Let Iona. Ashen one. Chat, let nothing. Chat, don't spoil you bitches. Chat, don't make me turn off chat again. If you guys cannot... Okay, why is it all playing... Now that's definitely sad music, chat. Why is it playing sad music? Uh -huh. Don't actually answer that, you fucks. Chat, where's my god... I, I did everything. I did everything. Where's my goddamn twinks? Yeah, Chad, there's like me thinking out loud and then there's actually asking. I'm not actually asking, Chad. Be sure. So don't try to spoil it. Don't spoil shit. Don't be a spoily bitch. You're being a spoily bitch. Okay, let me think. Path of the Dragon. Oh, I know it, Chad, you stupid bitches. Oh, you guys are such idiots. No, I remember. No, you think I forgot? You think I forgot? No one forgot. I didn't forget. No, I'm too smart for you. You guys are big dumb 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 asses. I'm so much smarter than you. Okay, why is the musical sad now? Chat. Why is the musical sad now? I'm starting to suspect it's trying to hint that I did something wrong, but that's impossible. I have literally never ever done anything wrong ever. It's like deliberately playing sad music though. It's like, it's like very noticeable. It's like pretty goddamn noticeable. Weren't they like right there? Shit. Wait. Shit. Um. Hmm. Maybe they were down, you know, mm. Mm. Ah! 
you guys just shut up for a second? I'm, I'm trying to think. It was like, there was like a thing. It was like a thing. Wait, was that it? No, that was to the boss. No, was it? Shoot. No, I think we go to the Coliseum. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm thinking of, because you know I'm right. Oh, fuck off, baby. Wait a minute. Gotcha. I remember because they were all sitting and there was a dragon and I picked up something about a dragon I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember the item. It probably wasn't important. But anyway, I picked up something and it was like You're a dragon Harry and I was like, I'm a what? And that's when I knew I could block any attack and beat any boss That's it. No, that's definitely it, right? That's it. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, that wasn't it. Where was it? Could you, like, fuck off for two seconds? Friendo. How are you not dead? You, you can't even hurt me. Just just give it up. Come on. Embarrassing. Embarrassing for him. Okay, we go up then. And it'll be like right... No, okay, this is in the dungeon. But no, this is salvageable because where does the dungeon go? To... The place. So I'm going to take it home. Where I belong. Yes! Oh, I'm the... It's like incredible how it took you guys years to figure this shit out. And I'm just like, boom. I'm just, boom. I just know it. And I just know it. Are you guys dragoning? Oh, okay. We're going to seat the scaleless. Oh my god. Is there going to be a third seat? Is seat the nameless king? I'd believe it. I mean, he was trying to become a king the whole time. That's perfect. What a budget cut. Just add in like a little, you know, and then you're good to go, right? Reach Arch Dragon Peak. How can it be the peak? Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. I can tell. You wanna know how I can tell? That enemy took three hits instead of two. If I was on level four, it would only take two. Okay, let's try with you. Nope, I'm definitely under leveled. Nah, no doubt in my mind I'm under leveled. 
but yeah oh well we'll just get a thing and then come back later What if you wanted to play the video game and the seven hit combo enemies said that's 20 minutes of hitting. They give 1500 souls. That's about what I was getting from my enemies. What if I dodge rolled? Then I would be abusing an overpowered mechanic. I refuse to play Dark Souls while abusing overpowered mechanics. Okay. Dark Souls is here for- I'm, I'm here for the challenge, chat. Not just to win. You guys who just want to win, like, that's fine. But I like the challenge. The thrill. Like, you guys want to just, you know, have a get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh, I want to get surrounded and then just press one button and have every mistake I made up to this point go away. Are you guys dragons? Are you like dragon serpents? Well, I'm getting lots of Titanite chunks. So... Yeah, I played Elden Ring with Mimic Tear because I was trying to get a hard experience. That's a thing, you know? That's a thing. Yeah, I just need twinks. There better be some goddamn twinks in here. Is this the first goddamn time you can pull a lever and open a door without being on the other side of it first? Oh god, it's a bell. Remember the bell? Am I just gonna die? Oh. Up here, so. Oh. This guy is gonna be a little difficult, I won't lie. No, nope, never mind, he's a bitch. Hmm. Puzzle boss time. Okay, the boss isn't even trying to hurt me, so it's pretty obvious what's going on here, chat. We have entered Puzzle Boss. Hard mode equal, holding down left trigger. Yeah, you know what? You go do it, buddy. You tell me how you fare. You hold down left trigger, instantly get your block broken because you lose all your stamina chat it's not hard to figure out like oh my god you dealt 17 damage okay like what yeah no I'm definitely intended to sit there and beat the boss down for 32 minutes like come on So 
this block when the attack hits to regen stamina. So would you say you have to time it? And the better you time it, the better you do? Would you say that? That's an interesting thought. Okay, I see. New storm ruler? Wait, would that actually work? Where did I put that stupid thing? No, there's no way. Um, I would say that Dark Souls 2 had way more ganks. But that's not to say this game doesn't have ganks. It clearly does. Pretty frequently at that. But Dark Souls 2 is more. And more often. Which... Dark Souls 1 ganks are really... You're really stretching the definition of the word to call it a gank. Is it a gank? Yes, but... It's like, it'll be like four zombies that hit you once then stand around who all die in one hit. I feel like based on everyone else's experience, I'm kind of like blatantly underleveled also. Everyone else is talking about like being level 100 and shit. I'm level 80. I'm like, hmm. Dark Souls 2 has way more ganks, way more often. Um, yeah. Chat, the thing is, I would never trust you guys. Dude, how do they fucking snipe me out every time? I swear to God. The thing is, I would never trust you guys because, like, you guys would be like, Oh, you're level two? Yeah, that's fine. I beat the game at level zero. I, uh, have a plus zero weapon. I didn't even take any souls. I think you'll be fine. You're, you're level three, really. In fact, I think you're a little bit over leveled, actually. Next time, you shouldn't make the game too easy for yourself. Don't use your souls. That's kind of making the game easy mode.
leveling to 100 plus makes it much easier. Really, is that what leveling does? I thought being a higher level made the game harder. But now you're telling me it makes it easier. Jack, can we write this down? Oblivion thing was always really exaggerated. Let's be blunt here, Chad. Did leveling up in Oblivion really make the game harder? Yeah, it, for some people, if they were doing the trolliest shit you've ever seen in your life. So the vast majority of people, it kept it around the same difficulty. Certain spikes of hard and easy, and that's about it. I'd look like a goddamn moron if I walked out there and died. Yeah, I don't. Mm. Just to just to double check. Yeah, there is no bridge there. Okay, okay. Um So what do you want me to do? Maybe there. Head. Stupid dragon can't even survive a sword in its skull. Now that falling damage would have killed me. This is unrealistic. I fell more than 12 centimeters. I would be dead. I'm under level one shots the boss. True. Very well, then take it. Farewell, Ashen One. May step. Chad, the sad music isn't going away, and it started right after I gave her the eyes. I'm starting to suspect that that was the correct thing to do, and I'm the most genius man ever. But how can that be true, chat? It's because I am the most genius man ever. Welcome, Ashen One. My thanks for the eyes thou hast given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. Then why would there be firekeeper eyes, idiot? Feel through a sliver of light, frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get, right? One, is this truly thy wish? Yeah, let everything die. Hell yeah! Of course. I serve thee, 
and will do as thou bidst. Look, we're all gonna die one day. Private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Suicide pact, me and you. To link the fire, and I will blindly tend to the flame until the day of thy grand betrayal. Not really betrayal. That the the betrayal was not. Well, I should mace thou thy. No, no. The the whole betrayal was relinking the fire to begin with. Okay, the world needs to end. Okay, we need to admit, Dark Souls Three does not really actually have that great of combat and I prefer Dark Souls 1. We all need to come together and accept it. Dark Souls 1 was probably better. Oh wait, I forgot. I did the thing. There's just too many times in Dark Souls 3 where I just get giga hit by 17 goddamn attacks. Even if we ignore the bosses, because I'll be honest and fair, I don't think the bosses have quite entered Elden Ring territory. But like, oh my fucking god, the enemies uh, sure do get special. Don't they? Yes, they do, Chad. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh, I can't even get enough twinks to... Up I can't do much... Two four one plus one three seven. Where is my goddamn? Okay, two four one. Tell me, is is Black Knight Sword just that broken that even at a plus three, it would equal a plus ten? Refined? What the fuck? How can that be true, Chad? How can? Can't be true, can it? Wait. Wait, Black Knight Sword is a great sword. Wait, fuck this, chat. Reinforce it, bitch. Chat, we're going in. <laughs> Chat, this is what it's like to go even further beyond. Ah, uh... oh, we did it. We're doing it, chat. Black Knight Shield plus five. Ah, we did it. Pretty be careful. I don't want to. Ah, uh, chat. I am now a plus ten, plus five. You know what you are? Plus bitches, because you need some. Yeah, look at the stability. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, look at this. I'm so stable right now. Hit me. No damage. Try it. Useless. Pathetic. Okay, so uh, am I supposed to be here? They uh, seem a little stronger than I'm used to.
Drake Blood Greatsword. Can I get your armor? Too? Can I can I get your armor? What what was what was that shit? What was that weapon of his? Can I get that? Can I can I maybe maybe that was a secret? Maybe he's like oh god, there's what there's more y'all bitches? Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest, I, I literally cannot upgrade past this. Th this is maximum upgrade. Uh, boy oh boy. If I can't beat these people, this is, uh, not gonna work out well. Can I get a drop? Your weapon, maybe your armor? Your armor would be cool. I'll take your armor. Why do you do so much damage? I just upgraded my shield. It's maximum stability. Can I get their armor? Is this like a, okay, you know what? I'll keep going. Seriously? Do they even drop anything? What are you doing? What am I doing? What is this? What is happening in my life? Oh, fuck me. You, my sir, do not take much damage. What? Havel is evolving. Do 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 Havel has become Rock Havel, I guess. Okay, have a come on. Uh. Oh, uh. 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 Wait, he tries to block so much with this weapon that it actually destroys his stamina. Havel, can I just... Can you just die? Like, what is wrong with you? Okay. That's it? Oh, that's just disappointing.
Well, I don't know. Is there like an end to this, chat? Am I am I winning? Did I get the high score? Am I the strongest in the universe yet? Okay, I, th I think let's let's move on maybe. You bitch. Who is that? Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass. Idiot. You thought you could beat me. I have a plus 10 long blade. You know, I heard it. Okay. Jed, there is like a 0% chance I beat this boss. If those Dragon Knights are anything to compare to... Yeah, there's like a 0%. Dude, they were breaking my shield in one hit. Something tells me shields just uh, have, have hit a wall here, you know? It, it seems enemies have, have finally gotten enough giga damage that they actually just destroy my shield in one go. Now, let's see. We have been maxing strength. We could go to the Black Iron Great Shield. But its stability is actually lower. All these stabilities are. We'd have to go to the Great Shield of Glory. That's 40 strength. I mean, it's the epic son of Gwyn. How lame would it be if you could just block, dude? Wait, how lame is it that I can't? So what have I been doing on this journey? Wait, so I just killed four of the most powerful characters in the world, absorbing their souls to become more powerful, and now my character is still such a weak sack of shit? How many of these giga-strong mega characters do I have to kill before my character becomes strong, chat? I'm absorbing all their souls and becoming the most powerful character known to man, but the game always gives me, yeah, but this character is different. You don't understand, okay? The, 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 I, 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 Turius, the bitch, the, 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 the rock dude, uh, also a bitch, but this dude, he's like the son of G Gwyn and he has lightning and dragon power behind him. He's not at all. Is this just an OC race? Is this an OC race, chat? Is everyone's favorite OC just getting more and more powerful? Is this like a playground fight? Everyone's OC just keeps one-upping everyone else? Yeah, why the fight? Just get Toriyama to do this shit at this point, dude. No, actually, you, you might have been strong, but there was like a... There was like an assassin who was stronger than you. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, actually there was a dude who was like a student of the master of the assassin and now he's stronger than you. I mean, there was a, a, a demon king and he's stronger than you. I mean, the demon king had a son and he's stronger than you. Actually, there were uh, uh, aliens, there were aliens and they were stronger than you. Actually, those aliens were weak and actually there were other aliens and they were the strongest in the universe. Actually. That alien was weak. There's uh, robotic humans that are, they're stronger. No, actually, those guys were weak. There's like this. Uh, there's like this DNA guy, and like he's stronger because he combined all the DNA. Actually, that guy was weak. There's like a dude who's like the strongest in the demon realm, and he's stronger. No, actually, that guy was weak. There's like this pink goo, and it's stronger than you. Go on? 
Oh, actually, that dude was weak. There was like another god who was so like you know how there was a one god, right? And then that god wasn't actually god, but there was like another god of the god of the afterlife. But then there was a god above that god, god. So there was god, then god's god, then god's god's god, then above that god was god's 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 god, and then he was the god of the god of the god of the god of the god. Above that god is the god of 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 the destruction. Yeah, I know, kitty, right? Kitty's crying. Hey, Twinkling Tight Night. Okay, so this is where I get my drops for Twinkling Tight Night. This is where I get the twinks. Got it. There's just another dragon here? trying to push me off Chad you can feel it you can feel the desperation of the AI trying to push me off the map am I playing Elden Ring Okay, let's be honest, there ain't no way, right? By the way, if he's the son of Gwyn and the strongest dude ever made, why can you dodge him? Nah, let's let's not ask why can I block him. Why can you dodge him? The dude should be faster than you. It's really like trying to dodge Goku. You can't. He's too fast. How many souls do I have on me?
Honestly, I kind of hate the idea that you dude is just sort of a dumbass. Randomly wandering about the map, not really knowing how to do anything. It just kind of like doesn't tell a great story. Know what I mean? I feel like there should be some setup or something. Like, why am I here to fight the nameless king? Instead, my dude's like, Oh, a bell! Ding, ding, ding! Uh-oh! That made clouds! Oh my god, I just wanted to finish off that guy really quick. Okay, then we gotta finish off... We can't actually really finish that thing off. It's kind of too tanky. Oh my god! I sure do love them hyper complicated enemies and then shoving four of them at you. It makes a very enjoyable experience. So do I have the best straight sword in the game to a plus 10? So like, I don't get really, I don't get stronger than this. Do, do I literally not ever get stronger than this? This is, this is my peak. I'm peak Dark Souls at this point. Ugh, that's not good. I don't think I do enough damage for peak Dark Souls. Welcome host. Very well, then take. I'm gonna have to upgrade a, a tower shield to fight this dude, aren't I? Hmm. Okay, let me thank you, chat.
God, but my Black Knight Great Shield... Sorry, my Black Shield has been with me this whole game, chat. I can't give it up. Wait, what's better? The Black Knight Sword or the... Oh, that's an Ultra. This is just a regular Great Sword. Okay, you know what, chat? Let's just stay the course on the Black Knight Sword for now. Oh, we don't have enough twinks. Damn it. Check infusing. This is this should be this is a boss shield, so I don't think you can infuse it. Ah, just good, wasn't it? Reinforce weapon, infuse weapon. Yeah, you definitely can't. None of these affect stability anyway, which is the only stat that affects me. Oh boy, um... Okay, let me think, Kurt, let me think. Uh... Realistically speaking... I mean, I only got 7,000 souls on me, so let's just go... We're gonna go test run this, chat. We're gonna go see... Like, how fucked we are. And if we're like Giga Mega Super fucked, then we... Well, we gotta go practice. We gotta go level, you know what I mean? It probably could be beatable if I giga level for a bit, I think. Because I have... Let's see. Let's look here. Vitality, we have 11. So we could take 11 pounds more. Technically about 15 pounds more and be fine. So we could equip... Oh my god, this area. Okay, I do need to kill some of these for twinks, though. That's not what I wanted. Oh my god, dude, like holy shit, what the fuck? It literally just continuously attacks forever. Okay. Jabby like can we spoil? Please, please let me spoil, please. Oh God, oh, it's bringing me physical pain to not be able to spoil. Please, I beg. Now. Okay, so... What are we doing? We're trying to go this direction. Presumably into the wind.
Like these guys are not dropping any twinks. You know, this concept where they just do infinite attacks is, uh, hmm. Hey guys, what if we make enemies have infinite attacks? Surely the game will be fun. Then let's just shove a bunch of them into one zone together. If enemies have infinite attacks, you kind of can't have more than one in a location ever. Which is kind of an issue. Kitty. Okay, so what, where are we going anyway? Kitty, then just come here. You're such a cat. Just come here. Be normal. Be normal. Chat, I don't want shit spoiled. Jesus Christ. Why is it like, wh why is it an actual argument? Why is it an actual argument that I'm like, please don't spoil? And you're like, Ugh. you're like just sitting there like, no. You're sitting here like, I deserve this. I earned spoiling this game. Yeah, where am I going? Like, I'm presuming I'm going to the wind. I think. Kitty. Kitty. It's not kitty time. No kitty, it's not kitty o'clock. No, no kitty, it's not. No kitty, there's other stuff going on. It's not just kitty time. I I have no idea anymore, chat. I, I think I'm going to the wind. I don't, I, am I? Am I?
Where am I going in this stupid game? Yeah, I looked at there's like wind out there, so I thought fuck it. Let me go to the wind and now I'm like at the wind and I'm like, okay, I don't know Am I supposed to ring the bell? The bell? Give me your bell Okay, this isn't it, Chad. I'm just going to the DLC. Fuck that. Be wary of head. Okay, I got nothing. Chad, I went in the win. I thought he'd be a cool challenger, but apparently he's too much of a pussy. He's kind of avoiding me. He's running away from me. He's being like, no, please don't hurt me. I'm Gwen's shitty son. I'm like, no, you won't be able to get away with your evil ways anymore. And he said, no, please, I'll do anything. Please help me. Okay, what are we doing? Right. Okay. Reinforce you. My dark night sword. We don't have any more titanium slabs. Chad, you fucked me on this deal. I don't got titanium slabs. Chad, how do I cheat titanium slabs? I mean, he's saying, how do I, uh, you know, a little bit of... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna be honest. 185 plus one, that's nearly 400. This is 400. Dude, Black Knight Sword is a piece of shit compared to a refined Lothric Giga Sword. Okay, chat, I think this is what I do. Um, I think at this point, what we do is we eat a bunch of souls. I got this stuff. How much does like using this give me? Souls are twin princes. Fuck you, I'm eating you. Give me power. Nom 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 Tree, give me strength. Nom 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 nom. Wow, tree, you sucked. No wonder you died to me like a bitch. Crystal sage, give me strength. Nom 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 nom. Oh, you suck too, crystal bitch. Chat, these people are terrible at their jobs. Deacons of the Deep, give me strength! Uh, that was actually not bad. I'll be honest. Deacons, you guys, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, Deacons. Pretty good. Sell the souls to the hag. Oh, is that what you do? Ah, uh, Chad, that's me powering up. Ah, uh, kitty, don't run away. I'm just doing my shout, kitty. It's okay, kitty. It's okay. Ah. Uh, kitty, I know, I know, kitty, I know, kitty, I know. Kitty, you're so cute. Ah, uh, that was not a lot, Chad. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of disappointed right now. Okay, we're gonna go do Del Souls. What is a Del Soul? This thing. I have not missed a new fire. I'll look into that later. Uh, give me one second, though. My very. Oh no.
trying to lose some weight, chat, so I'm going on a pure chocolate chip muffin diet. How many of you guys uh, in chat play Total War Warhammer? How many of you do that? I imagine there's not a lot of crossover between Dark Souls and uh, Total War Warhammer. Probably not. Chat. I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys something. It's not about whether or not I miss content. Because we know I might miss content. It's about the fact that I want to find it. And if I miss some content, oh well. Alright, I'm level 98. Chap, it's my choice to miss content if I want to. Oh, my God! Well, I'm fine. We're gonna, we're gonna go. We're going to react to a Total War trailer real quick, because the Total War fans in my chat are going crazy. Now, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and react. I'm more going to like... Okay. I certainly do feel hunted right now, I won't lie. Chat, <coughs> I'm totally okay missing some content. I accept <coughs> my fate, okay? But in return, I get to experience all the content as I get it, as I want it. Do you understand? So it's, it's fine if I miss some content. That's just <coughs> what happens in life. You can't... <coughs> Experience everything in light, you know? 
we're gonna go do the DLC. But for now, um, hold on, I'm gonna, we're gonna watch this thing. Ugh. So what is this? The, the DLC for Total War? Come on, dude, we want you to fight him. Okay, that's fine. What do you want me to do? Like, obviously I'm not gonna beat him. That's pretty clear to me. If I got a great shield, maybe. creeping gunpowder pretty hard. land ships that's wild that's kind of uh hmm so I've got almost nothing but slayers they literally got a fucking zeppelin dude Dwarves got a goddamn <laughs> Giga Zeppelin. Okay, so what 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 happened here? <sighs> this shit. Oh come on, I know you're real. Just, just uh Yeah, it's so weird to me that chat literally can't respect that I'm just trying to not get spoiled. Like, I'm, I'm like super lenient with it, but like, god damn, guys. I'm like, I want to find stuff for myself. And you're like, but then you might not find it. And I'm like, oh, well. And you're like, but, but then how will I be reacting to you reacting to it? Like, okay. So, uh, about that Dark Souls 3 doesn't gank thing, huh? Hmm. I mean, you don't need to ban everyone, but like, my god. Yes, I get it. You guys, you guys want me to fight the dude that I obviously am not gonna be able to beat. That's shocking. I know, it's crazy. I also don't want to waste like three hours of my time being like, haha, I couldn't beat him again. Ho oh, ho, did you see that? I didn't beat him. Like, okay. Like. Just go back in the VOD and watch anytime I died. There. You you'll have it down, chat. I promise you. Like it was anything like Melania, shockingly he won't be beatable by using a shield. Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ. You didn't fight Melania though? Because I didn't see the point. It didn't look fun. Do you guys really want me to like go die to a boss for an hour until you're satisfied? Will that make you guys happy? I just go and go, wow, I guess my shield build didn't work again. And Chad goes, yeah, I, yeah, I, I knew it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta dodge. You gotta, you gotta dodge. I told you. And you're like, just like jerking your dick off. Like, ah, I dodged it. I knew it. I knew it. Like, okay, who gives a shit? Melania for a post. Oh shit, dude. Am I doing a repost build? A am I am I reposting? Is this a repost shield? Do you see the repost shield that I'm using right now, chat? Shit, why don't I just repost him? Okay. This uh, might be a dead end here, chat. If the enemies continue to do infinite hit combos with like five man gang squads, I'm not sure I can pull through it. really don't give XP, do they? Why are they so tough then? Seems like a waste of my time. I mean, chat, do, do you really need to watch me dying to the Nameless King over and over again to prove that maybe a shield build isn't as good as a dodge roll build? Maybe I do need to dodge roll. Wow, you're, you're coming to the shocking realization. You know what, Chad? I will agree. I, I think dodge roll is better than shield. That's crazy. Tell you what, we'll just never do Nameless King now that we know that. Like, what are you guys, like, little sadistic little fucks? Like, no, you must do bad. You've been playing my favorite game without dodge rolling. You can't do it. You can't get... Go die to him. Go die to him right now so I can feel good about myself. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, when I say Souls fans are fucking crazy, that's exactly what I mean, dude. I'm griefing myself? How am I griefing myself? I'm literally just playing a game for fun, doing shield only. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to get this far. 
fact that I got this far is pretty funny, not gonna lie. I, like, at first I wasn't dodge rolling because it was funny, and then it, it, I just kind of kept making it work by brute force, and then I just started laughing about it. Yeah, we're kind of getting into the point of the game where enemies are starting to deal so much damage, though, that, uh... My poor little fully upgraded shield ain't holding on. Wait, it's dead? Huh. What's the point of trying, chat? Obviously, like, like, okay, let me use some context clues here. The people have been frothing in the mouth, pissed off that I'm doing a shield only thing. How going, please go play them, please. Like, hmm, let me put two and two together here. I also know it's the secret boss. I know that it's the hardest boss in the game. That's not some well-kept secret, unfortunately. I also know that um, it's really, really difficult. And based on how the bosses have been going in this game, I'm just gonna guess he probably does giga damage strings. Based on just this DLC alone, I'm gonna guess that he does a shitload of damage and probably I won't be able to have the stamina to block him. Okay. Huh. Okay. We are in the DLC area, yeah. I'm probably gonna have to swap to a tower shield. Which is why, by the way, I was stacking strength. I, I figured very quickly that this wasn't gonna be possible without a tower shield. The enemies completely obliterate. Like, it basically feels like I'm back in, um... It sucks, because I used one of my slabs upgrading this piece of shit, too. But yeah, it basically feels like I'm back, uh... The DLC at least is nice. Like, it's aesthetic. I like it. It's not bad. But, dude, I don't give a shit, Buddhist, about the no moderation. Jack can do whatever they want. Are you guys still here? Wait, are you just a black knight? He seems to be a black knight that can actually shield mid stun lock. Yeah, he seems to be a black knight with slightly improved AI. Not giving yourself you're playing well with your own stat I mean and that's the thing Jed I never thought I would actually get this far I'm gonna be honest at first I wasn't dodge rolling because it just pissed you guys off and was kind of really funny to me and then I slowly started to realize that wait actually if you play things very well and very carefully you actually seemingly can make this work it's not easy and obviously you get into really jank shit like this. <laughs> J 
Chad, what's the lore on the talking trees that can grab me out of- Oh, god damn it. Hmm. Okay. I need a better shield. Well, let me think here. I, I picked up a bunch. I think I'll do the Great Shield of Glory. Oh god, it weighs so much. Fuck me. We're gonna go from a seven and a half. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Am I doomed? I think I'm doomed. There is no way. Oh, nothing. Yeah, I'm looking at the weight. I'm gonna have to sink another point in strength and then like 10 points into getting my way my weight under control Jesus Christ, I, I suppose I could just put on lighter armor at this point Dude, these enemies are like, uh, way more difficult, by the way. Damn it. Dude, it's so hard to tell whether or not you're gonna get the backstab. Okay, so he blocks after two lights or one heavy, pretty consistently. Yep. He's gonna attack me, so we might as well just kill him now. Can I thrust attack while I shield it? No. What I typically try to do is wait for a little bit, then attack while they're still blocking, because sometimes what the AI will do is they'll, uh... They don't seem to react to you attacking, they just block to block. I don't know a better way to put it. Sometimes they just block to block because they're like bored in life. And so, um... Whether or not they... Dude, where did my souls go? Did anyone see my souls? My dark souls? Okay, what what is going on, by the way, with the, the, this... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. But this area sure is uh, gank heavy.
You don't really get to move up and attack an enemy. You like move up, an enemy aggro's, his dog aggro's, three archers aggro, another enemy aggro's, and you're just like, dude, what the fuck? I have a plus 10 weapon and pretty good stats, and I do not do enough damage to just like destroy these people quick enough. And I'm I'm really wondering there's not really much more damage I can do. I mean I could I could maybe get an additional 10% more damage here. It's not really that much. Basic enemies are tougher than some of the fucking bosses, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, there is no way I'm doing this. Holy fuck. Like, I, I thought this area might be hard, but I was, like, fully upgraded with, like, a fully upgraded shield and everything. So I was like, I was like, okay, okay, you know, maybe I can, like, do this. Yeah, it's not even close. Like, holy shit. Now, what are you going to do to my shield? Okay. Enemy just starts doing like ludicrous swings that have no real break in between them. Okay, I say, well, at least there's one of two of them and an archer. Um, the DLC might just be impossible. I mean, maybe the bosses aren't really that much tougher. Maybe these guys are like just mini bosses. I don't know. But yeah, this is kind of how I figured the late game was going to go. That eventually, kind of like how Elden Ring goes, eventually enemies were just going to have so much creeped up damage that like a shield just wasn't going to be able to do much. Yes, I know how stability works. My shield is a plus five, dude. I, I literally cannot get more stability on it. I tried kicking his shield. It, uh, well, I mean, as you saw, it didn't work. game 
is forcing you to use all the mechanics at its disposal. Oh shit, dude. When does dodge roll spam have to block? When, when does dodge roll spam have to space? When does dodge roll spam have to strafe? I kind of thought I could maybe get in the tower and stop whoever the archer is, but... Every time you roll, you have to strafe and space it. Dude, do you really think I'm stupid enough to believe that? Like, like that's, that's like a legitimate question. Like, actually, do you think I'm so stupid that I buy that? Like, like you, you understand I play the game, right? Like, you, you're watching me play it. I know how dodge roll works. No, you don't have to strafe it. No, you don't need to space it. No, you don't need to manage. It's literally invulnerable frames that you use through the attack. Dude, are they ever gonna de-aggro? What is this, fucking Dark Souls 2? I think we're playing too much of the anti-dodge roll bit. And there's no anti-dodge roll bit, my dude. It's pretty clear that the DLC was like, it, it, like they just, exactly like how Elden Ring ends. Eventually the enemies are doing four more times more damage than they should, which is fine if you dodge roll them. But if you don't dodge roll them, well, there's not really a whole lot you can do. Dude, how many of these wolves have I killed around here? I'm just trying to get rid of them so I don't get randomly back capped. Okay. I'm about to give up, chat. Like, this shit it was designed for dodge roll spamming. It wasn't designed for blocking. I'm not really sure what to say at this stage. It's it's fine for dodge rollers, you you know, they get the dodge roll spam, but like Holy fuck, it is so fucking unfun Every enemy is like a boss if I pull two enemies. I literally can't do anything It's like trying to fight two different bosses at the same time. There's only so much I can do I, I have a limited set of options I can beat if I, I bet I, I can beat the base game, but no, I can't like the enemies are literally doing three times the damage they should be doing. Let's remember, I was blocking the bosses in the main game just fine. Like, I was doing that just fine. But suddenly these dudes can, can break my stamina? These guys can break my stamina? In like... One volley? There's actually one thing I noticed too. If you attack their shield, even if you even if you get blocked, they'll typically actually attack you after that. So then you can like kind of be like, okay, let's just get on with it. You know what I mean? And sometimes they attack. Their AI does not seem to. The block AI seems to just be a state. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's a state of blocking it's not blocking as a reaction to me doing anything it's just blocking because it's not doing anything else see i'd like to be able to fight these dudes but like the second i try to deal with this i i pull like three enemies somehow and i got 
whatever the fuck this shit is. Okay. I guess if you like dodge rolling, this would be fun. I mean, I haven't finished the end game boss because I don't want the game to end. But yeah, I mean, I, I've done, I've done the base game. Yeah. How does it want me to just clear? Like, here's another problem. These dudes are so tanky. How the fuck do you want me to just clear these guys out? I'm a bit confused what this DLC is even expecting of me. I, like, I'm trying to get into the tower. And, like, how do I clear these guys at a reasonable pace that I'm not just going to be stuck here, you know, in the tower until someone passed by? Oh. At this point, anyone can walk by and I die. Like, Jesus. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they'd at least drop their armor. Nope. There we go. I don't think he gets up the ladder. Which actually raises a good question of how he got here in the first place, son. But okay. God, why does Dark Souls love forcing you to use their shit for ma maneuvering? It's not a good platformer. I mean, I'm not saying it's the worst platformer I've ever played. It's firmly middle of the pack, though. In other words, it's probably not the sort of game that should be forcing you to platform. Like, ever. Captain's Ashes. Is that what lets me buy their armor? Probably. I mean, I could go finish the game at any point if I wanted. Based on... Uh, Lotharic, I don't think I would have that much difficulty with the end boss. Unless he's just like... Stacked. You know what I mean? Unless he kind of just comes out of nowhere and is just like a stacked motherfucker. I think he's like the Lord of Cinder, maybe? Oh my fucking god, I thought he would die on that hit. Dude, like, I have a plus 10 weapon and like 40 strength and 30 agility. Why, why am I hitting these people like I have a zero weapon? I, I don't get it. What is happening here?
Like, I have a pretty fucking meta build here. I mean, not like because I intentionally went with it, but just because of what you guys told me. I, I, I feel like... I feel like I should definitely be, at the very least, like, hurting their health bar. The, the amount of damage I'm dealing feels like I went into an area like 30 levels too early. I have quality. I'm trying to get this area. Everyone is just so fucking tanky though, man. Yeah, see, he, he's actually immune to being kicked. That's not me, like, doing a bit. I, I've done it twice. That's why often you'll see me just doing random attacks, by the way. Because they do- they will lower their guard and start an attack even if you're mid-attack. And they don't seem to be able to punish you for hitting their shield. So, it seems to just be free. even come from I swear to god okay that was like a city or a cathedral or at the very least some sort of mad made structure so I'm gonna presume the area is up here didn't I already kill you big wolfy boy dude what is with the wolf spam okay we're doing another bit I mean it's cinematic it's not great cinematic but it's cinematic I guess. I kind of liked it at first, but now it's going a little bit overboard. I don't know a better way to describe it. I, I feel like at first I was like, ooh, it's all aesthetic and shit. And now I'm just like, okay. I feel like I'm being directed onto an adventure rather than experiencing an adventure. I don't know if that makes any sense. Dude, how could you possibly... Um... How could you possibly... Okay. Do I still get his shit? No. Oh, I do! Dude, what even is that? This dude's made an account to Sam Bold, then come back to say it again. I'm not... Well, hold on, I had... I knew it. I knew it. Dude, I feel like, I feel like making fun of my hair is like really weird because it'd be like calling me fat. It's like, uh, okay, not, uh, like, like I can see my hair, right? So like saying I'm bald or balding, it's like, oh my God. 
Yeah, I'm feeling exhausted. This DLC is already exhausting me. Like, the normal enemy mobs, I feel like we're getting a bit rough, so to speak. But, man, now they're kind of getting fucked up. Like, every single mob, um, I'm not worried about it. Again, I can literally see my hairline, dude. Like, I don't... How are you gonna insult me for calling me bald? It doesn't even make sense. It's like, it's like a visual thing, right? Like... What? What was I gonna say? Every enemy mob is acting like those goddamn skeleton assassin dudes now. And they're all just doing like giga combos. Um, they're all just doing like giga combos. There was something behind me. I wasn't crazy. What was I gonna say? They're all just doing like giga combos and shit now. So like every single enemy mob just does like the one two one two one two one two one two three one two three one two three one two one two and you're just like. Dude, enemies have no break anymore in their action. You basically need to buy frame advantage with a dodge roll to get anywhere. That's just loud and annoying. That was just an irritating sound effect. I just did not appreciate that sound in my ear. Okay, what's my lore chat? There's a bunch of dead birds here. Am I experiencing the joy of... Honestly, I don't have to kill them. I just, you know, want to help them. Chat, yeah, I don't even have... Yeah, I don't even have a remotely receding hairline. D do you guys see my hair? I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying... I don't know why you guys are like, DON'T LISTEN TO HIM! Like, like, dude, I look in the mirror every day. Yeah, I got some gray hairs, dude. But... Sure as shit ain't my hairline receding. How do I get up here? Is there a jump? Parkour? Jump off the top? Probably. That's an unpleasant sound effect. That's not... Pleasant. Normally it's like... No, that one, that one I just don't like. I just don't like that. It's like actually annoying. No, it's not like scary. It's like, it's like actually grating my ears. I'm not saying this is a meme, I'm saying like I actually, uh, really don't like it. Okay, so remember when I keep mentioning that the game keeps letting enemies hit me through block like way too often? How am I targeting this guy, holding block, he's charging into me, what are his attacks going over my block? It's just frustrating. It's, it's frustrating and stupid. I do not like it. Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs with ham. Oh, this DLC is annoying. Okay, give me the rundown. Is this deal? Ah, dude, that sound effect is actually giving me a headache. I'm not even joking. I'm not doing a bit. It's like actually irritating my ears. I, I don't normally get irritated by stuff in games, but like, holy shit, dude. What is that? It's so high pitched. And I have, like, I have headphones on, so it's like right in my ear. It is right in my ear. Huh? Well, there is nothing forlorn about you. 
You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Yes. Oh. oh, finally, you have come. Yes, I have. Oh, wondrous Ash, grant us our wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. Jed, based on what I've seen in this DLC, I don't want to explore anything. And you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Yes. Surely you've seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that witch fooled the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, please, grant us one wish. Yes. The tale's true. And burn this world away. Jay, how would the painting also rot out just because the world is rotting? Wouldn't the painting be in a different world? A world within a world, but still a world unto itself. Please. Okay. So take those. One more? I like that. Okay, I figured. In Dark Souls 1, it was always talked on three times. In Dark Souls 2, it went to like six times for some goddamn reason. Dark Souls 3, we seem to be back to three times as good. Um, Dark Souls 3 has no replay value for me. Uh, I mean, I could see myself playing through it again. There's certainly a lot of areas to explore, I suppose. But... That's also why it's so frustrating to me when I beg Chad to not spoil that everyone is like like bending over to spoil everything and make it unplayable to me. Like go here, do this, go there, do that. You'll see everything. Do it all. Don't do it on your own. And I'm just like I'm sitting here like trying to make this like a hundred hour game, like experience it, have fun, you know, have the time of my life. And there are people like who are like sprinting me to the finish. Be like, get done with the game already, bastard. Like, what do I do then, chat? Like, what do I do once I'm done with Dark Souls? Dark Souls 3. I mean, that that's it, chat. I played all three of them. Then what? Are we just done with Dark Souls on this channel? Chat, I don't know where to go. I'm trying to get up there. Because once I get up there, I think I can then jump to that thing I saw. But I need to get up there. Like, I figured I'd play this whole week, right? Like, I figured if I took my time, I'd probably... I was, like, looking at other people, I'm like, I might be able to get 100 hours out of it. What do you think, chat? If I, like, take my time and actually look for stuff, I know I'm level 98, but, like, my build... You know, low-key, shields kind of fucking suck. I'm probably gonna need another 10 levels just to boost up my, uh... Stamina for weight capacity to get a tower shield. Yeah, but dude, I don't like, I don't like, okay, I, chat, I don't know how to get up here, and I, I give up. I'm just walking back and forth looking at the same terrain. Oh, guys. Oh, I saw I'm, like, really tired, because I woke up super early. Yeah, but chat, I find dodge rolling annoying because I find it tedious to learn every animation and shit. Again, guys, Kitty, you are killing me. You, you, it's like sometimes, Kitty, sometimes you turn into the biggest attention whore. And, and the thing is, she learned, I know I say this a lot, but she learned, Kitty, come here. She learned that she can tap me, and she reaches up her paw, and she gives me like a tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. And imagine you just have someone tap, tap, tap. Just tap, tap, tap. 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 And she just does that until I turn around and then she runs away and is like, tee hee 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 hee. And I'm just like, oh my god, kitty. I don't know when and how she learned she can just tap me over and over. It's probably because I do a reaction when she does it.
It's only this year. She's eight years old, and only this year did she learn that she can tap me. Never before this year did she tap. So these guys aren't going to fight me? They're all dying? Everyone's dying? Um. Ow! Chad, that guy's fighting back. What is this like? Oh my god. I don't know when I can release my block against this dude. Holy shit. I, I literally try to release my block like ever and he's just like BAM! And he just like sprints in another dagger attack. Okay, I kind of like that though, not gonna lie. I kind of like the, 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 oh god. What do you call like the environment, right? Like the fact he jumps down, stabs people. Everyone around is like, yeah, and all the, all the naked chicken people are like running away and they're like, oh my god, he's killing us, right? It's, I don't know. What's her way to describe it? The... <sighs> Am I blind? No. We go back here. What the fuck? Dude, asshole. I'm trying to be nice and you just kill me. What is wrong with you? Did you just attack me? Fuck you. Dude, I thought you guys said they would be nice. They're trying to bite me. They're trying to knock me off. I've been like intentionally not killing them because I'm like Ah oh, god that sound effect dude Chat now they're getting COVID on me. Oh god the COVIDing Dude it is a very unpleasant sound. I'm actually getting a headache. I don't know if you guys have this because like I have my headset on and it's like kind of loud and it's like kind of hurting my ears like a lot I'm gonna kill all these bitches now because like this shit. What is this shit? Mages, Chad. They were harboring mages. A filth. A filth, Chad. Where are these fucking mages, chat? You! Give me the mage! Chat, remember the motto. Kill first, get answers later. You! You're the mage! When he was a mage. You! Oh, he took one more hit, chat. That's me. Oh! He's a fucking mage! Chat, kill him. Kidnap his family. Murder his family. After kidnapping them. So like kidnap then murder his family. You, Mage Harbor. <sighs> Chat, I feel like this path is not very clear. I feel like I feel like a lot of things in Dark Souls 3 kind of funnel. You'd have to like find one very specific part. If there's one thing I didn't... Mm, I mean, Dark Souls 1 did have like lots of doors and stuff, but Dark Souls 1 was like small. If you actually look at Dark Souls 1, like the entirety of Undead Burr was only about as big as this city. This town, really. Honestly, I think that was about it. The entirety of Undead Burr was about this big. 
A lot of people don't actually think about that. It was just packed. It was it was very tight, you know what I mean? But and and that's kind of what made it very easy to end up finding stuff. Goddamn chickens. That was probably not worth my time to do that. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, I'm actually kind of really annoyed. I need to go all the way back here again. Uh. I think one thing Dark Souls 1 also did that kind of goes underrated is because it had you continuously searching through the same areas for the answers. Um, what it constantly ended up doing was like you'd find something that you didn't need yet like this door is locked you know and then later on you'd get a key and you'd be like I remember that locked door but like the only reason um, you got to that point was because like you, you had already been through that area enough to know Jesus Christ Yeah, it's funny because he did like an eight hit combo that goes off screen, ends it with another dash attack. I'm just like, oh my god, dude. Dude, I am too tired for this fucking DLC. Between the birds screeching in my head, these fucking boss level enemy attacks. Like, you gotta see me. When I play against bosses, I can concentrate. But when I'm just playing against normal enemies, I don't want to be like at 100% mental. You know what I mean? Does that make sense, Chad? It's like not even 100%. It's like just enough to play the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait. Uh, my ears. It's like these enemies aren't that interesting. They're not doing that much, right? It's just like I have to pay any attention. Like, I, I sort of just want to run through the levels and, and chop people with my sword. That's kind of where the the main game was at. I was at the point where I was just running through and chopping people with my sword, and that's fun. You can say, oh, she just wants the game to be easy. Well, no, I kind of just wanted to be, and I don't know, this off the top of my head, I kind of wanted to just be Dark Souls. Is that so bad? Dude, what? Okay. They will do literally anything to not make Dark Souls Dark Souls. I think he got stuck under the ground. Do I go in there? No. Maybe. It could unlock the door from the other side. But then if I do that, I'd have to go all the way back up here. And that's just tedious and annoying. So I'm not going to do that. Let's see here. Well, that probably goes to the next area. Sure. But is there no nope. Dude, I can't go two feet without being ganked by some monster man Okay, fine, let's go back here then and uh, I imagine we like drop down and then we open a door, right? That's what I imagine because that was a door that was the door that uh, opened from outside The virgin, I'm a naked chicken assassin versus the Chad, I'm gonna just stab you through the wall. Oh shit, he went down. Dang it! Oh wait, this isn't it. Chad, this is useless. This does me no good. Oh wait, he was outside. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my god, fuck off. Okay. Chat, how am I supposed to appreciate their 12 hit combos if I block? 
How am I supposed to do it? I, I need to be appreciating their 12 hit combos. Oh my god. Okay, I have a headache, dude. I'm gonna be done. God, my mood went down real quick once I did this DLC. Uh, dude, there's something like I feel like Dark Souls as a game series, you're either enjoying it or it's so fucking annoying you want to quit. And it's just like zone by zone, it goes different. But here's the thing. I, the thing is, I, I went through the early game in this game just fine, right? I got through the poison swamp and I just died a lot. And I was like, okay, this is annoying, but whatever, right? I got through the undead area. And once again, I was like, okay, this is really annoying, but whatever. But then I go through this area and I'm just like... Uh, and it's like anytime you, I think the problem is every time you die, you realize you have to run back through this area you really do not enjoy. And you're just like, uh. I, I, this DLC is just kind of not fun. I'm not going to lie. Like I'll, I'll beat it. Chat, I'll beat it to get an informed opinion on it. But holy shit, this is like a very different experience from the main game. The main game, I still felt like I was playing Dark Souls, but this feels like Elden Ring again. Like, it feels like they, they must have done this right before doing Elden Ring or some shit. Because it's it's the same shit. It's the uh, shit, 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 enemies that are just sitting there, like, comboing the fuck out of me. And they're like, no, don't block. You're not appreciating my combos. And I'm just sitting here like, ugh. Anyway, Jay, I'm gonna be done. I have a headache, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm kind of not even being sarcastic. Those shrieks into my head actually give me a headache. Like, I'm kind of, I'm trying to not be like, ah, oh, it just sucks. I'm not trying to be like, grr, right? But like, dude, every time I was like, wow, that was very unpleasant. My actual thoughts were, holy fuck, what is wrong with these developers? <laughs> my version of that's unpleasant is, oh my god, I hate this so much. It's like it drilled exactly into my frontal cortex and just drilled an exact hole. There's like, it's like that exact melody it played and that exact tune. That happened with Elden Ring too? Dude, I'll try to do a shield run through Elden Ring. I think if I avoid certain things, I could do it. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't... I think the final bosses will be too much. I think I could get to the final bosses, but I don't think I could beat the final three. The big three. Anyway, chat, I'm gonna be done. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe, everyone.